Hey everyone, I'm Average Trey with my co-host Sid. Welcome to episode 17 of Video Games Are Hard. Today, we have a special guest. You may know him from popularizing such classic speedruns as Club Penguin 500 Coins and Ooh and Oz Fetch a Fruit. We have oh Rat. God, fuck this guy. <laughs> Dang. Did he popularize Fetch a Fruit? I mean... I, I was the first one to ever do it. Really? Yeah, I guess Loader more yes. popularized it in a way, but... Loader is the one who popularized that, but I was the first one to ever do it. You were the, you were the, it. the pioneer of it. And I found the I found it on like the archive. Like I was the one who finally found. You're the reason Fetch a Fruit exists as we know it. And it, there's nothing else in my life that I regret more. <laughs> but Club Penguin, you're proud of, right? Pretty proud of Club Penguin. Yeah, that's good. That still that still holds up. That's still funny. So yeah, good to have you on. We we have Rat Seven Thank Eli, you. famed, good people adjacent. <laughs> Uh, Who? <laughs> long time pal of a uh, tray. Mm -hmm. uh, That's true. <laughs> I'm Tr Rats and I have had spats in the past. That I'm just gonna up outright say it. You recently hey, we've been pretty good. I'm not free of spats in the past myself. Spats in the oh past. My God. Do we want to talk Dude. about that first, or we'll save that for later? <sighs> just get out of the way. But I, I have nothing to say. I don't think I've never hated anyone. So there's been like points in our speedrunning career because we know each other all from speedrunning, um, where <laughs> hi, where we haven't always seen eye to eye with Rat. No, <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely true. We've had our our spats in the past, as Sid has put. It, that's true. Uh, yeah. Because I remember this one moment in 2014. I moved into my college dorm. I was a freshman, fresh in college, and I post my sick dorm setup. And uh, Rat tweets at me with a tweet that I'm not, I don't take it the right way. I don't take it as a joke, even though he's joking. <laughs> he's always joking. He's literally always joking. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost always joking. Uh, find a time when I was serious. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, it's before, really hard. This is before I ever really talked with Rat. He was just a viewer in my chat at that point, really. And <laughs> I said, it's done, and shed my setup. And his response is, Nice masturbation equipment. Also, you suck. Because <laughs> yeah, there was lotion in the shot. No, no, no. It was hand something. sanitizer. <laughs> it wasn't even lotion. <laughs> see, see what, what I, I remember like taking a, a Snapchat once, and I think Rat was also this person that responded. And I tweet, and I, I just like posted my setup, like not to anybody, just like the group. And it had tissues on it. Like it just had like. Blow your nose tissues, and I'm wow, and he's just like nice, detected. and I'm just like, oh god damn it! <laughs> There's no way. Now it seems like I'm like obsessed with masturbation. I gotta make a <laughs> masturbation joke every single possible moment, but these are just two like crazy coincidences. That's crazy. It just re reminded me of that moment. I was just like, oh god damn it! He would fixate on the god. I don't remember that. I remember the tray one, obviously, because it's yeah. on Twitter. But in, in hindsight, I know he's joking now, but at the time, I had no idea, which is why. I kind of got off to a rough start with Rat, but we lined up to each other over time. So you had a here. calf moment. You the had calf, a moment. Yeah, definitely... You had a calf moment early on where you went, yep. where I I I DM'd calf and I said, "Uh, what's up, you fuck?" or something along oh, those yeah, your lines. First game ever to him. Oh yeah. And then he was just like, "Wow, this guy's an asshole." But then, like it, thinking about it in the the view of calf nowadays you're just like how the hell that how'd that even happen like yeah he's like kind of so cruel and jokey like he would never yeah but he was just like yeah. oh this guy this random guy on the internet said fuck to me he called me a fuck randomly like ooh. Or, i think that so we've funny. all learned to not take ourselves so seriously over the years dude i think everyone in this in the entire group has thicker skin nowadays and so that kind of thing wouldn't really happen that's what the internet does to you you gotta grow thicker skin on the internet we, we have been friends for a while. We have been at least Indeed. acquaintances for a while. I would like to define Rat and I as friends True. nowadays. I'm that's I'm, I would agree with that definition. And he's he's a good guy. And sometimes I I have definitely been in a bad place talking to Rat, and I have I've definitely yelled at Rat, and I've apologized for things that I've yelled at Rat. <laughs> You've yelled at Rat. <laughs> I, I've done it all the time. <laughs> Rat is like Rat Seven Eli is is one of these people that I've interacted with on the internet, and I've just I, I've just 
had such weird responses from them that I just <laughs> act so erratically in response. <laughs> that I'm just like, what the fuck <laughs> is this response? And that's, uh, that's yeah, pretty funny. And that's I've never that's heard rat. myself described like that, but I would I would have to agree with it. But at the same time, Rat is a Twitter professional. He can get thousands of tweets based on, I, I some random meme shit. It's awesome. He's a great. That's true. He's a great tweeter. He can just decide like when tweeting. he's about to farm off Twitter. Yeah. Farm Sometimes I know. Like I can just create something. This is gonna this is gonna farm, and then I post it, and it farms. Yeah. And we don't I mean think like you know you're a Twitter expert. We we don't mean a pithy. 100 100 likes or anything like that we mean a a shit ton you know i don't know yeah. what, what's your highest grossing tweet it, the highest grossing was the one literally from like this most recent this past month or so oh the, really that one yeah the one the thumbnail one with the uh oh yeah i ran did what with pictures. all the smashers or with uh glitchymon mm -hmm. uh armada and can't remember who else it was it was Alfred, Armada. Uh, what's that one guy's name? Well, it was Glitchy Man. Uh, one of the most zero. Fun. Oh zero. Oh zero. Yeah. Yeah. Just like and then, he, he was just taking advantage of, or anybody that doesn't know, take, taking advantage of the uh, clickbait the, thumbnails. Yeah. Just the, the well, selfie thumbnails. I, I wouldn't call them clickbait, but like yeah, the obnoxious selfie thumbnails. <laughs> it's just, that it's, people. It's do. especially funny seeing Armada's hilarious reaction thumbnail. I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, the Armada one, I didn't make that. Like, I didn't invent that joke. Like, the Armada one came from someone else. But mm -hmm. the other three I made as of kind of a follow-up. And, and how because... many likes did that get? <laughs> how many likes? Yeah, you know? Uh, it got over 20,000, pretty sure. Uh, it got... Uh... I remember seeing it at 20,000. I'm just like, you know what? This tracks, you know? This... Yeah, it got 2.3 re. 2.3k retweets and 20,000 likes. Yeah. About. Damn. It, and, and I was just like, this one makes sense. There's some, I, I peruse Twitter a bunch and I link Trey stuff as as I do through my day. And I'm just like, this is dumb. This is dumb. This thread post is kind of interesting. Like, whatever. I think 95% of what you send me is just dumb stuff. Yeah. It's just <laughs> it's all. It's like, how the fuck does this get popular? Yeah. But not, not necessarily from that point of view, but there are are a lot of things that I look at on Twitter and I'm just like, this has 170,000 likes. How the fuck does mm -hmm. this have 170,000 likes? Yeah, I think that a lot too. It gets me most frustrated with Con when Kanye tweets like three words and I'm just like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, that's Kanye. Like that. yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, that. I know. Uh, that's, Kanye. that's Kanye. I'm not even like frustrated about it. It's not like I want all those likes. It's just like, it doesn't... The rat thing tracked. Every, but did it track like the, harder than your Overwatch post on Reddit? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> How many likes did that get again? I think it got 16k upvotes. And it was Dang. like my only legit post on Reddit. Otherwise, I've posted like random ILs of Sunshine, and then people are like, oh, wow, that's really fast. You know, it's, it's speed that's running. Really fast, like, but did you see those read strats oh. on Piazza 8? <laughs> <laughs> did you see those read strats? <laughs> That's a super niche joke. Speaking of Piance, you've been grinding that recently, haven't you? I have definitely been. And I dude, I've been playing it over the past forty eight hours, I think I've put in like maybe twenty. <laughs> There's definitely an IL renaissance going on in Sunshine right now. It's because I got practice yep. codes, man. Dude, Cathalon is trying to get involved. Dude, practice codes with endgame timer are so good. Yeah, Caf's inspired by me. Maybe. I don't actually know. But, There's some IL stuff that Cap was talking about, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. I don't know if that's leaking information. You, so you, you should leak gonna... it. I don't know if... Is this like right. secret runs that he's done? or No, no, else? no, no, no. I, I just know that Cathalon was was interested in the idea of like making a website for tracking like Sunshine IL. Was that just years ago? I don't know, but he literally talked about it, you know, like within the past week or so. That's well, funny we because Google Doc now. I I personally thought that the spreadsheet we use right now, for those that don't know, the Sunshine community uses a Google spreadsheet where we collectively put on our IL times using the in-game timer code, and it has consistent rules for everything. Um, but many years ago, like probably 2015, maybe 2016, when Kenny Cola was active, <laughs> we actually like well before ILs were ever popular. Um, 
we had that idea to make a, like a, a the elite.net style website for Sunshine, but we never got around to it because, you know, it, server cost and it's hard to do that. But I got the learned... spreadsheet, so I feel like the spreadsheet's definitely fine for now, but should we ever make a website, I wonder? I, I think the spreadsheet's totally cool. I, uh, the, the cool thing about the spreadsheet is just everybody just coming together. You, you, it's not verified. You, it's only verified by your access. Like you put in your email and if you're a known player, you're put in there. If, uh, it's very uncouth to type in a world record without the video. This is what I've learned. Mm -hmm. This is what yeah, I've world learned. Records I've typed have in, that video on that. I've, I've typed in world records and then people are be like, hey, put a, put a, put a goddamn video. And I'm just like, well, like, I'm not going to Twitch clip it. I'll, I'll edit it later. Trust me. But they don't like that. So I, I haven't done that in a bit. So you wait till you highlight it to put it on. Yeah. And, and that's actually what I'm doing with Piante. You, you talked about Piante. We'll get to rat. We'll get to rat in a second. <laughs> I know we're talking about like Piante 8 and random garbage that only a few people care about. But I've been grinding Piante 8 for a little bit. Uh, Equivocal Genius had the record on the spreadsheet at like a 124 and I improved it by four seconds because I'm like the only person that does it. It's not that Equivocal Genius is bad or anybody is bad at the IL. I'm the only person that does that level. Like Pianta 8, no blue coins. It, it is like a 96 shines and 79 shine only thing. And I'm the only person that only does uh one of those variants. So... The fact that I'm good at that level is not surprising. So I, I got that record by three seconds, and I was grinding for a 120, and I got a 120.78. And then since then, I've actually beaten it, but I haven't posted it yet because I, uh, I don't know. I wanted I wanted the first tweet to get likes, I think. And then and you told me to keep it secret, but I guess when this goes up, yeah. so it'll be secret for a few days. Yeah. Well, I also tweeted at Ice Windowsill, being like, I also beat it by a few frames. Shut up. <laughs> and uh, wait, I don't shut know. up to what? What did he say to you? No, nah, I said shh. Oh. <laughs> I just always say shh. I, I, I just imagine I smell also saying, nice I yell. And you're like, shut up. It's like, it's like kind of an in-joke, too, because it, like, last week we were talking about how I was getting into the IL uh, spreadsheet, and I got, like, two records. I got Tallgrass and Goldbird, and immediately they, they got taken away. So I'm just like, wow, they just really don't want me on this IL leaderboard. So I had to find my own levels that I'd be good at that nobody else would be willing to grind. So I have two world records right now. Keep it. I'm, I'm keeping the tally. I got two. I have Noki eight and Pianta eight. And uh, hooray for not any percent stuff. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm good at. I'm trying to Nothing improve it makes it my any percent. I'm stuff. just saying. <laughs> I'm trying to improve my any percent stuff, but also I'm good at the 96 shine stuff. So you know what? I, as a break from improving my any percent stuff, I'm gonna try to grind out the world record for the other ILs that aren't as good on the spreadsheet. Anyway, that was my spreadsheet talk. No, you definitely are good at Pianta it. 8. Like, I, I watched that I.O., and there's a number of strats in there I've never even seen before and or I, I would never do well. runs. So That's pretty cool. I, I, I think Parastrike liked it. Yes, Parastrike <laughs> commented on it and was just like, hey, it made me come. And I'm just like, you know what? Bruh. Good job. Dude, when Parastrike you know? comments on Sunshine stuff, you know it's real. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because that guy hates Sunshine, I thought. Speaking <laughs> he, of which, we does. should just plug uh, Parastrike's new album really quick. We definitely should, man. York we land. Should. My underground ocean. You want to talk about that really quick, Brett? Yeah, I mean, I probably have been following it the close, the closest. Uh, yeah, it's just a. Uh, he's been working on it for a really long time. Um, I'm not necessarily like a huge like electronic music fiend. Like most, almost all the music I listen to, you know, has lyrics, mm -hmm. <laughs> but. Yeah, I've I've listened to a few you know albums, um, electro electronic albums, and I don't know, this it's really good, and you know it, uh, he he used some really cool samples. He samples Air Ride and oh, that's dope. Some of his stuff, um, he's uh he got some pretty cool people. He got Garrett Hunter from Mega Sixty Four to do some stuff for it, which I don't know how many people who listen to this will be amazed by that, but to me it's super cool. Uh, this is a really, really good album. He got B Boy to play <laughs> trumpet on it, oh, right? Yeah. B Boy is is on it. It's it's really cool and it's really well made. Um, it's on Spotify and everything. Oh, yeah. Spotify, Google Play, or not, it's not? I don't know if it's on Google Play. It's on, it's on Actually, Spotify. I think Google Play was the one that it wasn't on. Yeah, exactly. What it's was so it called weird. again? But yeah. it's My Underground okay. Ocean by York York Land is the artist. Yep. 
and yeah it's it's really good i definitely recommend listening to it yeah feel free to check it out i actually i pre-ordered it on Bandcamp just to support them um and i liked them on spotify but i haven't listened to it yet <laughs> but i eventually will yeah. for sure i think i've listened to the whole through the whole thing maybe three times now i'm always to do like in one go whenever i have whenever a chance i have been busy i've been yeah. super busy recently like this is probably even though i'm not streaming this is like the busiest point in my life right now no joke like I mentioned it in the previous podcast, but I have like four different projects going on right now. It's crazy. Yeah, here like, we are. Like the podcast. Mm. This is one of my projects right here. Yeah, <laughs> it's an everlasting project where I just sit here and talk, and then you edit a thing, and then I write a paragraph. The paragraph yeah. really ties it together, though. I appreciate those. Yeah, I I do my best. You know, I think there, and I, I I stumble upon. I'm just like, you know what? I have a I have a 20 minute period. I can write a paragraph, and you know what? It always ends up easier. Then I think it's going to be. I'm like, this is going to be so hard. And I'm just like, you know what? Who cares? And then you type something. And I'm just like, okay. That was a description. Nice. Just don't even worry about it. Just do it. All right. Well, I've written down the title of that. My Underground Ocean. Everybody go check that out. Yeah. Rat. Check it Hello, out. Hello, Rat. Yo. Welcome hey. to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me. You know, everyone thought it would never happen. Uh, the good people always, I always say, hey, can you guys, you guys can't. You guys, you guys ready for the rat episode? And they'd all laugh at me, especially Cavalon. I and then I'd sarcastically uh, be like, "Oh yeah, rat episode coming up next week." Yeah, I was literally doing that today. I was like, "You guys hyped for the rat episode without telling them I'm actually on?" And they were they were laughing at me. And they don't. Were they you don't know. surprised when you were asked? Uh, I knew it happened eventually. Yeah. You know, I'm I am the Lord who who. A partial reasoning for the podcast existence. Of course, it would, it would happen without me. Like you could just have it on YouTube if you really wanted to. But wow, I totally forgot. We should totally mention that <laughs> the only reason this podcast can even exist on Spotify and Google Play is because of Rat. That's true. I I I host it uh, using a, a Linux Ubuntu server. Rats. Uh, Rats is a legend. Rats is a very selfless man in certain respects. Oh, actually, in a lot of respects. Be you know. I'll be honest, and I, I said this to Trey at, at one point. When I, me wanting to host a server, like on my on my Ubuntu server, was more for me than it was for you guys because I wanted to learn how to do it. Yeah, but it's also just nice. And I and I want, yeah, and I, I just wanted to do the experience hmm. and and the, the Linux experience just because it's you know what it's interesting. I've learned from friends that every selfless act is has some sort of selfishness tied to it. You know. Yeah. And. Just because yeah. there's a selfish aspect to whatever selfless deed you did, it's fine. We're cool. We're hanging. We're all no, no, no. How selfish of you to want to learn? How dare you? <laughs> Learning is such a selfish deed. <clears throat> it should all just be for me. Yeah. What the hell? I guess what I didn't realize is that like there'd be a lot of like minor issues that I have to figure out in little... Like, yeah, be sometimes like... the server goes down and shit. Like, what's up with that? Well, it goes down. If it goes down, it's just because the because the server is at like a physical location. It's at my dad's. It's actually at my dad's office in my city. That's the rat dad. And and that place can like has definitely lost power before, or lost internet. So if that happens, then then it goes down. So um, so the story of rat being on the podcast. All right, we've been memeing about it for a while. <laughs> I didn't think he would be like the third good people member. But I guess we don't have that many good people members. It, yes, I'm. I, Ice Window Sill is listening to this somewhere. Rat, I have identified Rat as a good person. He is. He is in the group. He's been around <laughs> for should... goddamn too long. I'm gonna say if is a if you call Pyro a good person, yeah. But on me, it's kind of like. Well, at least I talked to you guys. True. Yeah. At this point, even though Pyro Shade was one of the <laughs> Quote unquote, I love Pyro, OG good people members. He's more of a legacy member now. He doesn't really. He's not super active on the server at all. No. <laughs> Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, they talk about Pokemon Ooh, sometimes. Pokemon. And then Quan goes, like, I got a shiny. And then Pyro goes, I got a shiny too. And then it's over. <laughs> and then it's over till the next Pokemon comes out. Until the next Pokemon comes out. <laughs> Sword and Shield 2. Everybody's going to be. Better trees. That's the subtitle. Ooh. Uh, and I guess in case you, in case anyone doesn't know, the good people, what we refer to by that is 
it originated as a group of SMS runners back in 2014, sort of the the late boomer era, I guess. When it's just you can just easily separate it by the good people Skype era and the good people Discord era. Like, yeah, you can it, just do that. Honestly, in the good people Skype era, this is pre Rat joining at all. Um, like our like Rat was around, but like not in the good people. Yeah, and basically in that Skype group, we would just race SMS any percent every single night, super religiously. Uh, when like Quan, Cap, Huff, and everyone like that was starting out, and nowadays we're like we still interact, but we're not like super. No one plays SMS except for me and Sid. So. We periodically talk <laughs> and, to one another, and everybody goes like, "Wow, yeah. we're gonna play Dota," and then uh, everybody else leaves. <laughs> but that's that's we talk. Cap's in there. Quan yeah. has left, but he'll show up again. No, he's back he's, again. Oh, he's back again. Right, he's already cool. back again. I, I, why do you leave? He left the Discord group. I don't know why. He's just he's just trolling. The first dude. time There's he no was being explanation. He was being dramatic about uh, San Francisco losing the Super Bowl. Oh, and now he's just like memeing about it. I guess so. I don't know. Yeah, I was. Anyway, yeah. so so the story of rapping on the podcast. <clears throat> I think he's very relevant to the bingo tournament that's going on right now. I was given two options. We were talking about a, a, a guest for the podcast, and I was given two options. And I, we were talking about getting a bingo person. And I, we we left it to the pretty much the last minute. We asked Rat last night, and he or two nights ago or something like that. And he was just like, "It was last night." And, and he was just <laughs> was like, "Sure." <laughs> I was just like, "Okay." So I was given two options. I was given Rat and Reed. And, uh, <laughs> I, I I phrased it to say like, "All right, pick your poison, Rat or Reed." <laughs> and uh, pick your poison. And, and, and I, I legit, poison, of course. I legit thought about it. I was just like, "Okay." What are the benefits to having both pl- people on the podcast? And you know what? I I wrote so many pros in my brain for Rat, and then I had like Thank and you. Reed, you know. <laughs> so I looked at I looked at Reed in my hand, and I went, nah. So we're, we're doing we're doing the Rat episode. Reed will we'll eventually Reed show up. Sorry. Reed will eventually show up. But yeah, I'm hyped for the Reed episode. Actually, I think Reed's sick. Me too. I don't trust his mic. He peer- he joins calls Ooh, and he yeah. uses the worst mic ever. And then he goes like, no, I got a new mic. And then he uses the good mic and we're just like, oh, that lo- sounds good. And then he joins a call again and it's a horrible mic. And I'm like, I don't, I don't that's, know. That's, his, that's his mobile mic. <laughs> I don't know. I'm caught off guard by it sometimes. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I think I, I think Rat being on this uh, on the show is very apt nowadays because we're running. A, there's another bingo tournament being run. And Trey and I have, have commentated on one of the matches. And Rat... Yes, and uh, it wasn't exactly the greatest of experiences. Yeah, Rat used to run our... Uh, like, in 2018, he ran our... Uh, Sunshine Community. He ran the Sunshine Community. He, he run the, ran the bingo tournament. And he, and he also was involved in running the, the, the row control, right? D- d- tell, tell people your, uh, people your Sunshine control? resume. Okay. Well, for non... Gameplay. I don't really have a, a Sunshine gameplay resume besides <laughs> Rap Bounce. Oh, yeah, you were found Rap Bounce. You made Rap Bounce. Wait, <laughs> can you explain what Rap Bounce oh, is yeah, really quick? Uh, there's so many. Okay. <laughs> well, one day, <laughs> one day I was in Pianta 5 nice. Secret, and I discovered that when you bounce on a Pianta and they do a little angry animation, then they don't stop at their next possible stop location when they're. When they're walking in a path. See, I don't think is that it's as clear cut as that. I think there's some really nuance to it more than that. But Rat but that's did more or less how it yeah. works. I think someone found like the technical explanation for why it, for what really? happens. Does it? Uh, maybe it was Noki Doki. Yeah, someone found someone like did the complicated stuff and like re- realized like what was happening. I'd like doesn't, to. Doesn't it like re- refresh their timer for stopping and they can like stop in like yeah. any given window of time? Yeah, 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 something along those lines. Yeah. So it's but like, I swear, I've had a couple of times where I do it and he still stops. It's like super rare, but it happens. Yeah. Because it's random. So I think it resets a timer. But I think what happens is if the random number that it chooses for them to stop at is really low, then then it's possible for it to hit to hit that RNG again and they they would might still stop. And see, but it's a really, really low chance. You used to previously be like, oh, it doesn't matter how early or late you jump on him. He's still going to not stop. 
But I think you still want to do it as close as possible to the corner yep. to mitigate that. That, 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 that might be yeah, true. It's, but it, basically, it's just a yeah. three second time loss for sure, rather than a uh, he could stop for upwards of seven seconds or however long. Like anyway, yeah. it's just like it's a it's a mitigating the risk. It's like the, theoretically, he yeah, could just like not stop when you're losing time, but. Stuff. You could also like stop Hella, so it's definitely a good thing. It's the devil you know, you know. It's taking the devil you know versus the yep. unpredictable factor. Yeah, where it's just like he could not and, stop, or you could take three seconds of time loss. In speed running, almost always, any way you can make something more consistent, it's always a good thing. Yep. All right, so you found yeah. rap bounce. but anyway, but non gameplay wise, the stuff I've done, um. For at least like streaming on Sunshine Community, I guess if you we should be specific to that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I did. Let's see, the iced, any anything that was like put on by iced and Trey, iced and or Trey, like being involved, I was involved in yep. at least after twenty eighteen, twenty eighteen and on. No, you mean just that that so, one tournament. I would have said in one tournament, but there might have been well, something Well, like, else too. Romano... I don't, I don't even... Th- there was also... I can't... It all blends together. It's, I'm, it's I think that think the, uh, the the previous 2v2 lockout bingo tournament is the only tournament that I ever co-ran. Like, Ice was the main person running it, but I was co-running it. Okay. So... I did that. And then I did some other things, too. What was the thing I did recently? I did something recently. I did the... Oh, the relay. I did the relay recently. Right. So that was fun. You made the layout for that. Yeah, I streamed it and I made the layout for Rats, it. Rats and... is really good at layouts. Yeah. yeah. And see, we, uh... we meme on that, but like, <laughs> we really do appreciate Rats' layouts. Dude, now I do. I I, I did yeah. not appreciate Rat as much as I do now until like last week. You know? Because I, I was just like, Rat's just this guy. He, he hangs out. He... He, he he helps run the stream. He he makes it look really good, but like the the real talent is the guy on the mic. You know that was always me. No. Mm. But uh, <laughs> especially when it's me. Especially when it's me. But I, I we're doing um, Trey and I doing the commentary and being in the tournament for the new lockout bingo tournament that's being run by Speed Gaming. Uh, you check it out. It's it's fine. Good so far. Uh, we're getting into. What, lo- okay, losers round D- two. disclaimer, we have nothing against speed gaming, they're a perfectly fine organization, but yeah. we have some gripes with how they may be running the tournament we're doing right now. Yeah, it just feels weird. Like As it, far as commentary, because the, I feel like the, the higher ups at speed gaming are all really good, like Fiesel and all them, they're super awesome people, but the people who help with the restreaming, they're not always, uh, I don't know. But they're they, also volunteers. <laughs> They're volunteers, but they make some interesting decisions with how we do stuff. Yeah. It just made me really... Like, after we did the commentary, I typed to Rat, and I was just like, I miss you. You know? And (laughs) I think the problem... The problem is it's just like it's mass. Pro- it feels like mass produced. Like, it's not like someone's spending time on making... You know, oh, this is a layout yeah. just for Sunshine, and this has some... Ooh, there's a little in-joke in here that people who like Sunshine would get. Or, like, Look at these cool sunshine graphics. Uh, you know they do so many games on speed gaming, and so many different tournaments th- at the same time. No one's like really gonna really put love into making something for the game that they really like because they do so many different games. Especially stuff. if it's not ALTTP randomizer, the one thing they seem to care about the most. <laughs> they love randomizer yeah. on there. Yep, uh, ALTTP is uh, pretty big on there. But I feel like they just don't really have a good lockout two v two bingo layout. It's just ready. It, it just feels weird. Like I feel like some of the gripes that we have are easily fixable if we go like, hey, the, the, one of the things that we talked about was the fact that they didn't let us go into the call or go on stream until not that they didn't let us, but we weren't told to go into the call to go on stream until the match actually started. So we couldn't like do a pre like talk about it beforehand, get, give some uh, pre game stuff, talk about the teams or anything. Because on Sunshine Community, whenever it was just like, "Oh, you guys are here. All right, we're trying to set stuff up. You go in there, like go go talk. You'll you'll be up to date in the bingo sync or whatever." And Trey and I will just sit there vamp for 
however long because you know what we can do that we've we've been taught after however many years of being friends and playing sunshine and doing whatever that we can just talk about sunshine for however many however much time until somebody goes hey we're starting a match and then we go okay we'll talk about the match now but then we'll still periodically go back to our uh sunshine history stuff but like they, they didn't let us go in until the match started which was really weird but I, I i think that was i think that's just a thing that we could be like hey we can just go in like we'll, we'll just go yeah and, and they don't also have a scene for setting up so you just like literally see them setting up the layout on stream yeah that's really weird that's really isn't that weird. something that you could fix though rat like isn't that something that they could do oh i mean yeah uh, everything like that is super easy to uh, it's not rocket science to do what i to do what i've done but i think it is I don't know how I don't do they have is a, is a volunteer like does a volunteer have OBS open on their computer or is it done remotely or how, I don't I'm know not how entirely works. sure what it, what's really it's, strange is the commentators actually do a thing to make it switch to the scene of thanks for watching and all that yeah like there's yeah, like this separate like a, link where you click this button not, and then it does that yeah, I feel like there's some automation involved, and it's like on a, it must be on like a, a virtual machine or something like that. I, I, I don't know how they do it, but, yeah, it, I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't know how. To, I, yeah. And then there wasn't an interview because I don't understand if they sent the bot links to join the little group that gets made for it to all the participants, because I had to like manually link the bingo card to everyone racing. And they like couldn't join for the interview. So it's like, well, I guess we're not doing an interview. Let's just wrap this up. Yeah, we, had, we, we, we had a good wrap up. Yeah, but. we were fine. We just we literally just sat there and talked for five minutes about what happened to the match and what we were expecting versus what we ended up getting. And then uh, eventually, yeah, we just kind of went. Yeah, it was a fine. Oh, nobody's showing up. It, it was a fine conclusion. I just don't know why an interview didn't happen. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Either way, maybe maybe they'll figure it out a little bit better by the by the next time we commentate, but. We'll see. It's pretty early in the tournament so far. Yeah, it is like round yeah. two or round three. Yeah. Or I guess we're we're in round three now. Yeah. We actually face off against our next opponents, SP Electric and Bry Guy on next Wednesday. I guess tomorrow from when this is uploaded. Yeah. Uh, Trey and I have done zero prep. We've done one scrim in the form of a tournament match. <laughs> we did we did a tournament match. So we have that under our belt. We should probably scrim like one more time, maybe though. Probably, then. at some point. <laughs> we should probably try something. Well, we'll try to get around to that. Maybe we'll scrim against Repo, Reed and Popo. Hello, Red. Hey. So anyway, we were just lamenting on how Rat is not making the layouts for us this time. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say like, I don't think they have someone like sitting on their computer with OBS open managing everything i think they have a lot of either automated stuff or yeah like people pressing buttons from somewhere else and it affects the stream and you, you, at the end of the day you're not gonna ever have a lot of as much control as as like i do when i'm running a yeah, stream right if, if if you do it like that and they they kind of have to do it like that because they have so many different people you know they have their stream running all the time and there's multiple streams yeah. so uh, I, mean, I, I, don't, I, don't not, I don't think there's a way when you're having it you know I, I don't like using the word mass produced but that's kind of what I, what I, I think in my head like when you're trying to spit out as much content as they are there's some L's that you're going to have to take <laughs> so <laughs> we're definitely taking yeah. some L's on this tournament because like sure the appeal of speed gaming is that you get a few more outside viewers because when you spe when you stream on Sunshine Community you're getting everyone who is already familiar with that community so you really know like who you're expecting to be watching, but speed gaming you get a few more outside viewers, which is kind of nice. Bring in some more uh, possible people who might be interested in you know watching more of that stuff. But at the same time, you can't run it as freely as you would on Sunshine Community. So there's that sacrifice, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. We're not so gonna cool. have cool stingers like the ones I made. It just made me lament rat and the the work that he put in like the 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 message of rat was uh palpable in my uh in my head and uh 
Yeah, I just I and you know what? I'm glad that we're having you on the podcast this week for it. So, well, thank rat. you. Glad my work is appreciated. Yeah. It, you know what? Back in the day, I did not have the sentiment at all. You know? And we we've talked about this. And I I've argued yep. with you bef- or when <laughs> I uh didn't appreciate you at all. And <laughs> Well, I don't know if arguing is just, uh, it was mostly just sarcastic layout yeah. comments. <laughs> like, you hey, make Rad, layout. You make a layout? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. He makes a layout. <laughs> God damn, I'm an asshole. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I never took it. I, I'm not, I'm not going to get mad about that. Like, I, you know, See, I, 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 I've been making fun of people for DMing me apologi- apologies. I, I think the only person that I've DMed an apology is Rat. I remember that you even told me about that. It's like I DM Rat an apology. Yeah, and I was thinking, damn, he never does that. <laughs> I, I do. And when I got that, I was like, wait, Sid feels bad about this. Like, uh, I wasn't really, I wasn't, I, I totally forgot it even happened. Like, it didn't. I just, I, I just yeah. felt really bad. Well, now well, I'm glad we cleared that up. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad we did that. So Rat is the layout guy. If you watched the recent Boomer versus Humor versus Zoomer match on Trey's channel, Average Trey VG. Yeah, the uh, relay race that the Boomers lost because Sid wasn't there, of course. <laughs> w- would I have carried? Um, as long as you didn't put me on Noki, I would have been okay. You would have done better than Samurai Man's Noki if he. I mean, he kind of had like some chokes in there, unfortunately. But hey, the, I can't blame him too much. Noki segment is super stressful in a relay, so I, I I don't have very much clutch moments under my belt. I don't have very many. The only my biggest clutch moment is winning the draft for guys team. That's my biggest clutch moment. That was super clutch. Yeah. But yeah. wait, we can't forget how clutch Cathalon was in that draft. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, Cathalon clutched it, dude. <laughs> Cathalon's the goat of anything in Sunshine. So, so yeah. Especially you, SMS uh, uh, fantasy drafts. Mm-hmm. If, if you watch that Boomer versus Humor versus Zoomer, uh, Rat made that layout. And he ran a lot of the... Yeah, I made the layout. I ran, I ran the stream. I... I kind of figured out like the best way to get everyone's game feed on and have it be able to switch. You know, I you know I wanted to you know find some way to automate it, but I couldn't really figure it out. Um, I also made like the there's like a there was like a video loop that I made for like starting for like when the stream started and waiting for the actual event. That to is start. my favorite part of any rat stream when. Like, the waiting for and having the music that's not necessarily Sunshine-related, like Galaxy or some DKC Returns. Or Or Mario Galaxy music, like I always do. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Trey loves his Mario Galaxy music. I love my Mario Galaxy music. (laughs) What what, what did I always meme about? Oh, uh, play 1080 music? I don't remember. Oh, no, it was... uh, 1080 Avalanche? No, uh, Wave Race. Oh, Wave Race. I, I always wanted you to play Wave Race music. Anyway, tr- like, Rat always had... But while you're starting up and while he's setting up everything and everybody's starting up their streams and nobody's ready to really commentate, for the 15 or 20 minutes before the stream actually started, there's just this idle camera on Delfino of watching Mario either run around or sleep on the Shine Gate or... Just- yeah, that, I did that for the relay. That's only been used for that for that relay match. I made it for it. Is that done using um, the fixed camera feature in Dolphin? N- no, it's actually a, a gecko code that was found. Um, I'm blanking on the guy's name. There's a gecko code where it lets you freeze the camera. I think it only works on Dolphin, but it's a gecko code that let that lets me freeze the camera in game. Oh. And then I just ran ran around a bit, and I edited it together and made it try to loop as seamlessly as possible. Just- it looks so, so good. It's like it 1080. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I maxed the graphics out in Dolphin. And everything. It's so good. You should have used the 60 FPS hack while you're at it. Yeah, that's, I, I, this, I never run a Sunshine stream in 60, so it wasn't worth it. Hey, that's a good point. <laughs> but, uh, no reason to. But yeah, so I did that. And then like for the bingo, like the original 2v2 bingo, I made a bunch of loops as well that were all Mario in different positions, usually sleeping somewhere. Yep. Like next to PD or something. Yeah, that that uh, I just that's made my a... thing. Did you get that idea from me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what so Mario sleeping next yeah. to PD? I I I found that out years. Uh, not, I'm not trying to take anything away from you or anything like that. I'm just years the... ago I tweeted out. 
I, I realized, I think I was one of the first people to realize that Petey and Mario have the same sleeping animation. And somebody somebody listening to this right now is going to be like, holy shit, they do. They have the exact same sleeping animation where they're sleeping on their side. If they get to their, on their side, it's Petey has the same sleeping animation as Mario, just flipped. Well, I knew that they had the same sleeping pose, but how'd you know it was the same animation? Because they, well, I just went over there one time and I left Mario there and just kind of went and did something and I came back and they were, like, Mario was facing the screen and uh, his head was to the left and Petey was facing the screen and to the right and I was just like, holy shit, it's the same shit, it's the exact same thing. Oh, it was perfectly synchronized? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> so... And and uh, the other thing that I found just while I while it's on top of my head is that uh, the totally not not unrelated but the the goop that covers Bianco where uh, this is super deep sunshine shit so whatever uh, mm -hmm. the goop that covers the Bianco while the piranha plants there before you unlock the statue is shaped in the shape of PD Piranha and when, I'm the f when I first realized that. I first realized that because I noticed the uh, the X of Goop missing randomly, yep. and then it blew my mind. I was like, yep. "Wait a minute, that has to be Petey's belly button." Oh shit, it's Petey! What the fuck? Yeah, I, I tweeted that out, and people were just like, "Holy shit!" And I'm just like, "I I, I had no idea. <laughs> I, I actually had genuinely no idea that this was a thing." But it's it's nuts. Yeah. The 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 amount of weird niche things in uh, Super Mario Sunshine is uh, flabbergasting. Yeah, those goop patterns are just bitmap or BMP files that are that are in the game, and you could edit the, you could literally edit them in Photoshop. And it's just black and white, and like if it's white, that's where goop is. And yeah, it's just like a black and white image, and you can make it be whatever you want, and then you can save it and have the goop be whatever pattern you want. If you're doing such a this hacking, is a cool. really good segue, actually. You know what? I brought yeah, it up. the reason Rat knows all this to segue into this perfectly. Is Rat is a hacker of Sunshine. Oh, that's a little... That might be a little... One, You're one the them. best one, hacker one the that's ever done it. That is not true. <laughs> Hack, hacker man's right here. Yeah. You, you, I, I, see, I don't know where to lead this. Trey knows a little bit more about the hacking stuff, so... I, I guess I was just kind of hoping maybe Rat can fill us in on maybe how he got into hacking and maybe... What he's done in hacking, and then I got some questions beyond that later, maybe. Okay, well, um, I got into it, you know, a pretty long time ago, where the tools that exist now do not exist. Um, I guess you know everyone like remembers like the Wilco. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a the while Wilco ago. Level, right? <laughs> the red coin yeah, level. Yeah, a long time ago. The Wilco custom um, level was twenty fourteen. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Uh. Yeah, we th there's been advancements since then, but yeah, I just kind of got involved. Um, I don't know. I uh, I don't even know what to say really. Uh, well, are are you making custom levels? Are you making? Yeah, yeah. I like you know. There, there's the hack that I made that Trey played on on stream, and there's a YouTube video of that. That was 2017, uh, I think. That was a while ago. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like that. That was never. It was kind of that hack was kind of just like a giant in joke that was I was kind of intending just for Trey to play it, um, and then people and still message ever, me. They still yeah, people still message and they message me. Yeah, people still want it even though it's not even worth playing. <laughs> Trey uh, did do speed runs of it. <laughs> did I? I did like one but speed run. You did right? one speed run. Yeah, of it. You did. That's that, that's a was um, very good. Thing is. All the stuff I did in that hack, I, I can actually do even more crazier stuff now. Now that there, I've had more experience and there's new tools that have been made, I could do I could do a lot more cooler stuff now than I even did back then. Which I, I'm kind of in the process of working on some form of ISO hack that might potentially be released cool. to the public. Oh snap! Um, it's hard. It's hard to find time and motivation and ideas because. It's pretty hard to see. The, it's hard. It's really hard. The extent hard. of my knowledge to your hacking is that the periodic tweets of you like changing the color of piantas and having like a bunch of them in a row, and then uh, 
Uh, yeah, that's really simple. Like that's that stuff's not. And nice. like having the toad be in jail and saying something. What? what, what see, tr- oh the. Rat, the racist toad. Rat has a lot of yeah, just toad. like random meme shit in Super Mario Sunshine that's just h- hilarious, but like not definitely not PC, but definitely gets our our uh, our funny bone. Where like I think Rat put the racist toad in jail, and he's just like I don't even remember what he said. Yeah, he said he said he. he I don't want to. I don't want anyone to sound clip me of me saying this. Oh yeah, I know exactly uh, what he says, but I'm not gonna say it. The, the racist toad says that he hates the blacks. <laughs> and um, he's just in jail. <laughs> and he's in jail, but, I mean, I don't think that's... It's not offensive, because I literally call him racist. Yeah, like, you know, I'm saying that this toad's racist, you know. It's, it's the probably shouldn't toad. be like this to toad. This is, not, this is not a role model. Well, he's in jail. It's a bad um, thing, you know? Yeah, he's in jail. Like, he, you know, yeah, no, nobody's going to go misconstrue that. Just like, you know... You Al Delfino put- has a very solid rule of putting the racist in jail yeah, that's simple definitely yeah the the joke of that was just to like was just to like mention it for like three seconds in that video i just like mentioned it <laughs> for three seconds and then brushed right over it and that and that's what got people that's like that's kind of why it was funny it's because it was just kind of surreal i guess i don't know yeah the racist yeah, made a cameo like in your one of your biggest hit videos the mystery swastika oh yeah Nah, that's, that's some old, old, old <laughs> shit. It's so that video. It's a funny video just watching it without any context. It's yeah, ten times funnier when you know what it's parodying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, so. see, then my my, I I want to go back into to rats pa- like tra- rats been hacking and stuff and uh, I I do do you have a, a lot to talk about hack wise? Because I want to go back to the beginning of rat. Like I, because I, we usually go into the beginning of like what got you into gaming and all that stuff. If you feel comfortable going into yeah. that, uh, well, we can do whatever. I I can talk about some hacking stuff that people I guess, might find interesting. But do whatever you want to do first. I'm, I, I don't, I'm wondering. The main thing. I'm oh, one, go ahead. I'm wondering if you uh, want to go into like your history and the people that you've interacted with in the past, because. I was going to bring up, like, because thinking about the, the racist toad and the mystery swastika and all that stuff, I was going to bring up Scrumpy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering if you were, like, comfortable in going into that, yeah, that kind could, of stuff at some point. We could, we could go through the history and then, and, then, and then at the end get to the hacking because the hacking is more recent in sure. history. Yeah, because Magic Scrumpy is pretty important in your history of <laughs> online presence. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. It's, okay. Well, go for it. So, so wherever you want to start, gaming wise, like you, you, yeah, you want you want to start with the gaming history of Reddit. Sure. <laughs> okay, well, as far as I'm aware, uh, like my parents both, you know, before they had you know kids or anything, they were they were both somewhat of gamers. My dad a little bit more. My dad was always super into like pinball machines and arcade and stuff like that. I know that he had like an NES at some point and he played like he played Zelda on the NES. Um, and my mom, I know that when she was, you know, a kid or maybe it was high school or college, she had, she had an SNES and played through all the Mario's and everything. So it was kind of, it was kind of predetermined for me to become a gamer. <laughs> um, and then I have two older brothers, uh, like, like 10 years old, older than me, older brothers. 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> ten, 10 years older than me other brothers so i got through those guys and my parents like that's basically where i get all my gaming stuff from so i basically just played all the games that they kind of played and i just kind of inherited all of the stuff they like but like my i have a few like first gaming memories and one of them was playing donkey kong country i think i'm pretty sure that is my first gaming memory ever was donkey kong country on the snes like playing it or at least like watching my parents playing, or my parents and or brothers. Uh, it would have been my mom probably, but yeah, I definitely remember that. And then I also remember with my with my older brothers very specifically. I remember unlocking Mewtwo in Melee. <laughs> oh and my that, god! That is a memory yeah. I will never forget. I was so young. I was so young. I remember. You know, we 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 had to set up the GameCube. We had to set up a really really long match to play overnight. So that we could unlock Mewtwo, and I remember like setting it up, 
and then we turned off the TV but kept the GameCube on. And I remember my brothers like telling us, like me and my little brother maybe, like telling us, like don't touch the GameCube, do not touch the GameCube. Like, <laughs> yeah, we have to leave this on. And then, <laughs> and then, and then the next day, like turning on the TV and like ending the match or whatever. And then you know YouTube or you know whatever it says in melee. Challenger approaches. Unlock a new guy. Yeah, challenger approaching whatever it was. And that was so hype. Like that was so hype. Isn't Mewtwo the second to last is, you unlock? Isn't Game & Watch the last one? I don't know. Well, I just remember we really wanted Mewtwo yeah. because we all we all kind of really liked Pokemon who, back then. especially my Who brothers, cares about Game & Watch really when you're Pokemon. a kid? But dude, everyone yeah, loves exactly. Game & Watch. You kidding me? <laughs> just like all these all these boomers coming out of the woodwork being like, oh, Game & Watch, I love that. <laughs> but yeah, that memory really sticks out to me. It's, a, and, you know, it's funny because you know, I still you know like Melee to this day. And I really like Donkey Kong Country to this day, and you know I have memories of playing Mario too. And so that's just all the all those games that I played when I was a kid. I really liked. I really I really, really like now. And the unfortunate thing is that I don't remember you know anyone in my family ever playing like Zelda. Like, I don't I don't think any anyone in my family ever played Zelda. So I never played oh, Zelda. Did you say your dad played Zelda this, one? And and well, he played Zelda one, but we didn't even have an NES back then. Oh, okay. Um, and when I was alive and or old enough to remember, you know, remember playing video games. Um, so I've still to this day never completed a Zelda other than Breath of the Wild. Wow. And I never what? really even touched any of the other Zelda games. That is an interesting rat fact. I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and it all just stems from the fact that this is not what I grew up with. You, and, so that, and so that, you know, that's as a person that didn't, or not me as a person, but I'm asking you. As a person that didn't play any Zelda before Breath of the Wild, how how how'd you like Breath of the Wild? I I mean I really liked yeah. it. I thought it was really Good. fun. It was really cool. And I just I got it and I I got the Breath of the Wild on the Switch on release night and I and I played it. It was really fun. Because as as somebody that's played me now, I'm talking about me. As somebody that's played pretty much every Zelda, like I've I've touched Zelda one. I've never finished it because it was like an old game. Zelda two, I've never Boomer played. Game. But every other one. Uh, uh, playing Breath of the Wild is just kind of like, yeah, okay, kind of whatever. Really, you weren't yeah. like big on it. I, I, <laughs> haven't I? Haven't we talked about this? I thought you. I, oh, I think it a Capulon. He loves that game. No, I'm not. I'm not a huge uh, Breath of the Wild fan. I'm not a huge open world game fan. Just to take it away from Rad for a second. That's fair because it really is more of yeah. a. I mean, it is a Zelda game, but it's definitely more. Similar to a Skyrim versus a Wind Waker. Yeah, I'm. I'm just yeah. not a big fan of big open world games that go like, "Oh, get this! Here's a money reward." Uh, uh, otherwise, <laughs> it's a big empty space. Like, I'm great. thinking of one particular moment you always bring up to me, dude. Fuck the, the Goron Spice guy. In <laughs> he's just sitting at the the ranch, one of the ranches, one of the 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 horse. Take just care that, of that voice you do for him has me crying. <laughs> he just, he's just like, hey, could you give me some Goron spice? And he's just, go get Goron. He's literally half, he's, he's the entirety of Hyrule away from Goron City or Where Death Mountain. Where the fuck Mountain. is Goron spice? <laughs> and, and he's just like sitting there, he's just like, oh, could you go get me some Goron spice? And I'm just like... I guess, at, at, like you just have a random conversation with random people, and then they go, "Oh, oh it's, at, at, during the conversation they say a one-off thing. It's like, oh, could you get me ten feathers? Could you get me a, a, I don't know, a cup of water or some garbage?" Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, I'm not a fan of the side quests in the game. I barely did any of them. But then after the conversation where they say this innocuous thing they want, it's just like mission, <laughs> like new mission unlocked. And I'm just Goron like spice. <laughs> it's like, you got to get, bring this old man Goron spice. And I'm just like, this is so lame. Anyway, that's my uh, gripe on breath of the wild. Recently. I've been kind of okay with breath of the wild. I just wanted to now talk about breath of the wild for a but second. That's what I'm thinking of. Cause I remember you getting back into it and yeah. thinking it was okay. I, I, I think it's better as if you, t if you treat it as a pure, 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 pure casual game. It's a it's a fine game. Yeah. And then you like explore it for Korok seeds, but not like super dedicated to it and explore for other things and you're just like not super dedicated to it. It's it's a really good casual, casual, hardcore casual game. Yeah. It was really fun to like marathon that game the first couple days it was out. Yeah, it was. You just have a lot of freedom. It's really cool. Threat, you played but you played one Zelda. On your history. 
Yeah. So, but yeah, this is a, this is like an example of, and like the other thing is too is I don't think we ever had a PlayStation ever. We didn't have any PlayStations at all. So I don't think I've ever even held a PlayStation controller. I've never played a PlayStation game. Um, and we had an Xbox, but by the time I was old enough to play video games, I'm pretty sure it was dead. It was red ringed or something. Wait, Xbox first one? So yeah, an original Xbox. Oh, we had one. I didn't know when I was growing up. Wait, the original up, but... red rings. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it was. I just remember that it was broken. So I've okay. never played an Xbox game either. I'm no Fusion sure. Frenzy for you. That's sad. Yeah, no, no Xbox, no Xbox 360, no PlayStation of any kind. I've literally been Nintendo and PC my entire life, basically. K- kind of same. Like I've only had friends play. Like I've played random Xbox games or PlayStation games at other people's houses. But like w- once I started getting money, I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna get all the systems. And now I'm just kind of like. I own yeah. a Switch and a PS4 and an Xbox One, but I'm like, I'm I only play Switch or speedrun Super Mario Sunshine, and my Xbox Same. One is literally w- what equates to the phone the phone book that people put underneath their monitors. That's my Xbox One, like it's just there. <laughs> nice. So, but yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So I I just played I played Mario. I played I don't know some uh a bunch of GameCube games. Um, I remember, I remember the Wii coming out, being really excited for Brawl. Yeah, I was. Oh, yeah, I was Brawl was like dope eight. as a kid. I'm not even gonna lie. I was, I was probably, I was, I was like probably eight, and I remember being so excited for Brawl. Um, we had to make a. Uh, I remember in fourth grade we had an assignment, to make a, uh, with to use like uh when our Microsoft publisher. Uh, to make a like a document about something, and I made mine about Smash Bros. Okay. Uh, like okay. And, and Brawl had either just come out or was already or maybe was about to come out or something, and so I made it about Brawl and I made it about Melee because I had, we had Melee at the time. We had an N sixty four, but we didn't have Smash sixty four. <laughs> I remember that specifically, and I was like, man, I really wish I could play Smash sixty four so we could write about it for this project. And my teacher, my fourth grade teacher, her son had Smash 64 and she she got it from him and gave it to me and let me play it at my house so I could write about it for my project. That was, that was really cool. That, that's dope. What did you write about? Like you wrote about the games. What did? Yeah, yeah I don't even, I, I like have a version of it somewhere. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> I don't know. I can find it maybe afterwards, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I just remember writing about Smash. It's just Bros. like oh, we had an assignment to write a, a, a Google spreadsheet or whatever. It's just I wrote about, uh, yeah, it was publisher. Or something. I, I wrote about yeah. Smash Bros. It's just like what did you what did you write about? It's like I don't know. I don't know. I, I was a you know, I was a kid. I didn't you know know anything about competitive Smash Bros. I, I remember like I was probably in middle school when I realized that L and R like were a shield was shield <laughs> like, what that was useful for. Oh, stuff, dude, you know? I would never use shield as a kid. Yeah, no, you, kid, ugh, dude. I play, I play melee with my older brothers, like within the past few years or so, and they don't ever shield. I was like, wow, people who don't play this game competitively. Don't know what shield is. You're not attacking. What's the yeah, point? It's really weird. But yeah, no, that's basically. I mean, that's my history. Just you know, I played games that came out on Wii. Played games that came out. I had a few Wii U games. Did you uh, write Subspace Emissary? Then... Did I write? Did you, did you write subspace? See, that was a joke. That was that was gonna be a joke that I was gonna. And I, you know what? I'm dedicated to the joke. But you guys started talking about something else because you were writing something for melee and brawl and smash. All right, but you didn't know what quite it was. Mm-hmm. So I was just my joke was you wrote subspace emissary or brawl. <laughs> be woke. The sub subspace. Okay. I don't know. It's just. Oh, okay. Like a joke. Maybe, maybe I, like I, he wrote I, the story of South Space Emissary. Uh, there, there was somebody, somebody tweeted out yesterday being like, wow, wouldn't it be sick with uh, Smash 5 or Smash Ultimate or whatever having Subspace Emissary or some sort of equivalent? And I'm just like, yeah, that would be sick. And I'm just mad. I'm just, I'm just so mad at Shigeru. Or not Shigeru Miyamoto. I'm not mad at Shigeru Miyamoto. Sakurai. Sakurai. I'm, ma- I'm mad at Sakurai because of that <laughs> weird... That weird response to people being like, "Oh, Smash Four is it going to have a subspace emissary?" and then it comes out and it's nothing, and it's like, "Oh, we we didn't put one in the game because people posted clips of it on YouTube," and it's just like, "So we're just not going to make a 
a, a something of quality. We're, we're just not going to make anything solo that people would remember or anything. Because that's what everybody talks about Brawl. Like, if Smash 4 or Smash Ultimate had some mm-hmm. equivalent, that would be so sick. But it doesn't. Yeah. So, True. Lame. And he's just like, oh, and we just don't... We, we don't make it because somebody's going to put post it on the internet or somebody's going to spoil it or... So instead of making something that could potentially get spoiled and people would care about, instead, we're going to not make anything. Like, okay. Cool. Anyway, that... that yeah, was... those subspace spoilers on YouTube really ruined it for me and Brawl. I, I didn't even know they... A- anyway, that was a small thought that I just rethought of, so I, I thought I'd say it. So that's Rat's history. Subspace Emissary, he wrote it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but... Um... I played, you know, I played PC games too, kind of. Uh, I, I remember like we had, you know, educational games when I was a kid. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> uh, a bunch of them, a bunch of all those. the, all the probably a lot of the iconic. Did ones you have the clue finders? Probably played. Maybe. What, what, what are the more games? iconic Maybe ones? I don't, that I don't you know. know that you played. Um, let's see. Where in the world? I know. I, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure I had kid picks. I, 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 I had. Kid I don't picks. know if you call that a yeah. game. I know I had Kid Picks, which was pretty iconic. Um, some of the ones I can think of, I don't even remember their names. Um, yeah, just like some mystery kind of solving-ish games. I don't know. They're, they're just oh, it's got to be Clue Binders, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't. I don't I honestly don't remember the names of. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I didn't no? know that. Right. I know that. I know that's like one that. of the only two. Mega Rabbit. I don't know about that one either. I don't know. I just know I played a bunch of them. I just know we had a huge stack of them, like a huge stack of CDs. Did, did anybody play? Okay, um, I don't know if you guys have ever. Did anybody play the Elmer's Glue Builder game? No, I don't. Think Elmer's so. Glue made a game for the PC, and it would. I, I, you know what? I would really want to play that game again, just to see how horrible, <laughs> horrible, horrible that game was. But I remember, you just like make cone shapes and and. I don't know, rectangular prism shapes, I think, and then just, like, kind of build them in a weird flat... It was Minecraft That's before sick. Minecraft before games, you know? Elmer's Glue sick. was way ahead of their time. <laughs> They're ahead of the time, bro. <laughs> there was an Elmer's Glue... I have no idea what it was called, but it was Elmer's Glue, for sure. That was dope. Anyway, that was my... crazy. I never heard of that. Yeah, I, pl- I played... Yeah, and I played a bunch of Club Penguin, unironically. <laughs> I unironically played Club Penguin. And Wait, then you sped ran it unironically. You know what we all did? We all did for yeah. like a, yeah. a moment. There was a day where I played Club Penguin because everybody was playing Club Penguin, and I played. Uh, no, I, I probably. What was the small game with the little? I can't remember. It's not Parcheesi. <laughs> Is it Parcheesi? What? No, it's Mancala. The, the like move the stones in the board. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, Mancala. Okay. I, I played right. that. That that's all I did, and then I was just like, oh, okay, well, I'm done. Okay, I'm going to come clean. Uh, I unironically played Club Penguin for at least probably maybe a year in my life when I was maybe in late elementary school. I'm going to come clean. I never played Club Penguin. That's crazy. I, I played it once. Actually, I, everyone in my class did in fifth grade. I remember it was a huge deal. It's messed up, bro. But at that point, in fifth grade, this was pretty much the year just before I started actively using the internet all the time. So I was never really like on the computer that much. So I never actually played it. And by the time I started using the internet a lot, it was kind of like a dying fad. So so was Club Penguin like the newer generation Neopets? Not like kind not of, like maybe. in style. I mean, well, I don't think Neopets was as much based on interactivity. No, Neopets was almost solely playing by yourself. I, I feel like with like single player. I games. think I just mean like a game. The, the universal game that everybody of that generation played. Yeah, that a kid played, yeah. yeah. Club Penguin for sure. I was, played some Club Neopets. Iconic. I did. I definitely did. I played Webkins too. I had a bunch of Webkins. I don't... I had so many Webkins, bro. What's that? Trey, <laughs> you play Webkins? No. <laughs> Webkins, they're like stuffed animals, and they came with a little code, and then you would redeem it online, and you'd get... You would be, it's an online game, and you can have your stuffed animal be your pet online as well. <laughs> There's so many PC games like that I just missed out I loved Webkins, dude. Webkins. Webkins was so sick. Oh, Webkins was I'm dope. I still Webkins. have some Webkins. But I gave a lot of them away to... Um, Dang. Donated a lot of them. A lot of those stuffed animals. But I still have, like, my cat. So, Webkins. when you say unironically played Club Penguin, what do you yeah. mean by that? 
when I was a kid, and I liked to play it with my like real life friends who also played it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and actually try to build my igloo and <laughs> play games, and I think maybe I bought the membership at least once or twice. Oh shit! With my allowance money. Oh shit! <laughs> but. See, but yeah, no, I, I liked it. I was, I mean, I was a kid, I liked it, but you know, when I was speedrunning it, and from then <laughs> on, you know, after after I entered middle school, from then on, if I played Club Penguin, it was probably ironic. See, in my head, I was thinking like, didn't you speedrun it? Like you say, you you played it unironically, and when, when you say unironically, it feels like more recent than that. Like when you were a kid, you played it unironically. I'm like, didn't you speedrun it? Didn't somebody speedrun something speedrun Penguin? But then, yeah, and then I'm but like, was, no, that's preposterous. That's preposterous. Nobody. Nobody would have speed, and then you just nonchalantly is like, "Yeah, when I used to speed run it, it's just like, oh yeah, he did." <laughs> it was very ironic. Trust me, it was very ironic. What, what did you speed so run you, in that you, game? You... Yeah, five hundred coins. Oh, yeah. at the beginning. Yeah, you made that category, but was yeah, it... I made it. I was the first one to ever speed run the online PC version of Club Penguin. Like, I was the first one to ever do it, and then. And then, like, the band percentage stuff ha- happened, and that went kind of viral. Yeah, so that the, the band percent really stuff, mean. that was someone else, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Just how fast you can get banned? Yeah. <laughs> From making an account to getting banned. The first video had, like, 2 million views, right? Yeah, it, got, it blew up. And, like, the guy who, like, made Club Penguin, like, tweeted about it and stuff. What? That's what? awesome. How did he get banned? You just say a bad word you just and you're get banned. Well, that's, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah no i guess you know so i started like playing some pc games more seriously uh i play a bunch of tf2 yeah um, cs 1.6 there's like i just sorry no i never played cs at all i played a bunch of tf2 when i discovered that like my laptop could actually run it because i didn't think it would be i never thought i never even considered like real pc gaming but my laptop could kind of run tf2 so I played through TF2, and I played through Portal and Portal 2, and I really liked Portal. I still like Portal. I think Portal and Portal 2 are great games. You know what? I um, really... I was, I was probably like 13 or 14. I was probably like 12 or 13 when I started playing Portal and and TF2 and stuff. Like I, I liked Portal. It's like, I, I hate Portal now. Does, any, does anybody do yeah. that? <laughs> just like, oh, yeah, I used to like that no. game. I hate that game now. Oh, wait. Are, are you... I'm just making fun of you. Are you saying you believe no, that? I'm making fun of you. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm saying I still really like it. Like, I still... <laughs> I, I really like the lore of Portal and the story yeah. of it. Um, At some point, you played Overwatch? Played we Overwatch, played Overwatch, but before... We all played Overwatch. Before yeah. Overwatch, I guess. Before Overwatch is when I... It's like the, I started speedrunning. So the rat getting into speedrunning. Yeah, so era. what got you into speedrunning? Yeah, that was like... At the end of eighth grade or the beginning of ninth grade, it probably was the summer in between. Honestly, um, I I began speedrunning. I can tell you exactly what month, and it was February twenty fourteen. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, hmm, wow. Well, that sounds like February weird coincidence. Something important happened. Hmm. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure, just like the influx of hype, because I didn't even, I, I didn't, I I barely even kind of. Knew like I knew of speedrunning, but I never like thought to. I never once considered, hmm, I should go look at speedruns of all the games I liked when I was a kid. Like I never even thought about doing that. And then just somehow on Twitch, maybe on the front page or something, you know, uh, someone was on there. And yeah, definitely Snarfy Bobo was the first person I ever watched uh, play Sunshine. The first chat I ever chatted in speedrunning related. Um, and I'm pretty sure that was po- partly due to the popularity boost from Gelato Skip. Yeah, you were definitely one of the Snarfy so, Bobo babies. Well, was it Snarf's chat where was for a bit. where you were deemed a notorious troll? Yes. Yeah, that was that was, that was oh, later. Okay. <laughs> but because the initial Rat Sunshine phase or Fat Rat ugh, Fat the Rat Sunshine phase slash speedrunning phase, I was pretty naive and not trolly. You know, I was a pretty I was a good kid. <laughs> I'll say it like that. Everybody's pretty... aged. Everybody has aged and uh, become more mature within Sunshine. Like, since the start, like, I don't know, Rat used to be... You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it. I, I used to dislike Rat. I'm, I'm going to be honest. 
Uh, I'm gonna be honest to you and say yeah. the same thing. <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't have disliked me at the very beginning, like like I'm saying, like in 2014, I was never a troll or or antagonistic. Or and then, I just I like saw just, you like, in chat. Kid who wanted much. to play. Yeah, I was like, yeah, and then slowly I became <laughs> more trolly, and I, I don't know, I don't know how or why, um, because I'm pretty sure I started became a little bit more trolly even before I met Scrumpy and those guys who, who I became really trolly with. <laughs> uh, it's it pro- probably because of my real life friends, honestly. You know, it's you guys bad know my real life friends. But you know, I wasn't. I don't. I wouldn't ever. I wouldn't say I was an asshole, but just you know. But you know what? Those trolley <laughs> influences shaped you into who you are today. So it's a good yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. There were some pretty good rat trolls, you have to admit. There Kenny will ones. tell you, like, Kenny loves <laughs> reminiscing about various rat trolls. I, and Kenny? I, I can't think of any. Yeah, Kenny loves. There's a few. I, can't, I, I don't know. What, what is your head. most iconic rat troll you can think of? Um, Iconic rat troll. I don't, know if, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the one that comes to mind. I don't think. You know, I I made the the fast legs clip video. Oh, people to this day still <laughs> fall for that. So there's a video floating around on the internet by uh, Mario Player sixty four, I believe. Yeah. And people still to this day like will link it in the Sunshine Discord, being like, "Wait a minute, guys! I see this video. Is this is this guy onto something?" <laughs> And essentially what it That's is, so, funny. so for the longest time, we've known that if you theoretically are able to kill yourself in the fossil X screen, you can skip cutscenes in the game, but there's no way to do it because you're so limited in your options and movement there. Um, but <laughs> what Rat did was read an alt account on YouTube called Mario Player 64, uploaded a video of him dying on the fossil X screen by clipping under the ground but he did it in a way where he actually used a position code to just uh, warp himself there. But it, he made it look like it was legit somehow. <laughs> and people still find that video somehow and link it. And they're like, wait a minute, this guy just died on the false select screen. Holy crap. <laughs> do you remember like Milk commenting like, hey, can you do this from, from like a reset console? <laughs> Milk <Milk-Buffer. laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I made it, um, I did it again. And I was like, oh, man, this is going to show my Wii Home menu. And I, you know, stream Sunshine attempts. Like, this is going to look like my Wii Home menu. So I moved all the channels around so that it wouldn't look like my Wii Home menu. Oh, that's genius. And then I, and then I, and then I did a, a version of that. So and I remember say that's, that's a pretty iconic troll if it still comes up today. Yeah. Wilco knew it was me. I don't remember how. I think it's probably because the only way that I could get people to see this video was if, like, I had to, like, send it. I had to put it in a chat. Wait, was so your initial be... spread of it you linking it like, "Yo, guys, check this out"? Yeah, like in a, in a Twitch chat. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, I don't know, like, what excuse I made for finding it, but um, Wilco knew it was me somehow, and I remember just him really angrily sending me a Skype message about it. Oh, Wilco, knowing his personality, he must have not been a big fan of Rat. <laughs> no, he was not happy, and ever since then, me and Wilco kind of had beef, <laughs> but I think we ended it. <laughs> at some point you've just Wilco... had like low-key beef with everyone at some point Wilco sees it's not a personal beef like I never did anything mean to Wilco and Wilco never did anything mean to me he just didn't like that I did that thing well yeah like so. low-key like not like actual beef but like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not like we had an argument or anything Wilco sees through all that's true he, he actually does he, he just sees through it all like the he was the first person after uh psycho underscore 15 or whatever not not the like really popular psycho or whatever I, I, I don't know about the regular psycho but there was some guy that had his same name in twitch chats and he like made a video about entering noki and saving like 1.3 seconds mm, and because oh, yeah. i because i doubted there him, you go sided williams <laughs> there you go sided williams and like that saved 1.3 seconds there you go sided williams fuck fuck you or <laughs> so, something at the Did end of the video <laughs> Like something towards me because I didn't believe him, and he posted the video, and everybody just kind of looked at it and went, "Huh." And then Wilco was the first person to chime in, being like, no- "Nothing happened. Like he didn't save any time." And I'm just like, "Oh yeah, I guess he didn't save any time. Oh, well, this is dumb." Uh, I think even I fell for it first. What? What did you intend, Rat? Back to video? back to Rat trolls. And I think you've said mm-hmm. in the past that it wasn't intended to be a troll. 
That video? No. Something different. King Boo oh, yeah. RNG manipulation. Oh, oh right. No, yeah, there was it was one hundred percent. Like I will I admit, all my trolls to this day, that was not a troll. Like I actually believed it. So, or I actually believed it. I actually thought it would work, and I would, I use safe states on dolphin, and I would do it over and over again. And it was like, uh, what I don't know, what, what what's it called? Uh, confirmation it's bias. A giant. Yes, yes, that's yeah. a, that's exactly what I was thinking. It was it was just a one hundred. It was just a confirmation bias. Uh, that's all it was. It was just a giant. See, and like tricking myself with confirmation bias, and maybe other people kind of also believed it. I with believed confirmation it. bias. Yeah. I believe. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, and I I yeah. literally had on That's confirmation bias because literally I had a one hundred percent success rate of trying rats to set up of not getting it to work. I, I, I had one hundred percent of it working. I, I, it worked every time for me. Trey and I were in a call after yeah. King Boo <laughs> RNG was or King Boo manipulation was a thing that rat posted and we we were in a call we were just talking to one another i'm like dude this is working and then trey was just like not it's not working at all i'm like you're standing in the wrong spot yeah, yeah. every time i say it's not working you're like oh you're, you're doing it wrong you gotta stand there i'm like okay i'll try you that gotta, you and gotta stand in the right work. spot I'm like, okay i don't think I, wish, I don't think it's working so. i wish you know that's one thing i wish i mean i wish i could erase that from everyone's minds but <laughs> it's let's be honest. i have all the videos unlisted or private on youtube from all of those King Boo videos, I still have them all. I just, sometimes I look at them, I'm like, man. Everybody has their moment. I, I thought that I found out a way to not spam spray backflip. Like, I thought there was oh, yeah. a way that you... I tweeted out being like, holy shit, new tech. Uh, if you hold L lightly and spam spray, you cannot spam spray backflip. And I believed it to the core. But I think something was going wrong. Like, I was landing just as it was happening like something else was preventing me from spam spray backflip yeah, basically because... when you land right after a jump there's like a window of time where you can't backflip that's what you're like getting confused by yeah so i i was just like holding out slightly i'm like dude this is fucking working and i was po I posted on twitter it got <laughs> I, I don't know for me a lot of likes is like 70 likes so it got something around there and people were like holy shit J i remember jj responding <laughs> being like holy shit <laughs> this is crazy and uh, and and then I had to tweet a uh, an addendum, being like, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> I kept the original tweet. But Actually, I, had... I lied about something because you do need cheats. <laughs> Actually, I lied about something. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I there I, is no King Boo manipulation. <laughs> I I also did a similar thing with Wiggler. I, I remember I tweeted out something Wiggler related that was just like, oh my god, new tech, and then nothing. No, it didn't actually come from it. I, I don't remember what specifically the Wiggler thing was, but I remember was doing it the that too. I, stuff. Everybody has their stumbles in uh, trying to find tech in in yeah, games. That ironically, uh, that makes me feel a little better because yep. you know I that wasn't intentional to troll anyone or to get people hyped for no reason. It was it was an accident, but you know. And then you know that 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 file slug thing that was on purpose. <laughs> and, you know, made me feel a little bit bad about it. No, I, I think like, it's you know, awesome. I made up for it. I made up for it this to this day with. With the uh, wrap bounds and layouts, it's actually really obvious if you know exactly how position codes work because, yeah, I believe the the, the place you teleport to is literally like coordinate zero. Mm -hmm. So it's like okay, well that's what he's doing. So, <laughs> yep. But yeah, your most iconic troll is can be manipulation. Uh, <laughs> All right, fine, that's not a troll though. <laughs> I guess one one last thing about hacking and just in general. You're really active in the SMS hacking Discord that they have. Is there any like special yeah. project coming up that we can hope to see in general? By, by um, anyone? I don't even get to talk that much about. I haven't talked that much about hacking, but <laughs> or about the the my groups that I've been in. But um, not hacking groups, but friend groups. Yeah. Uh, I guess with with hacking, I know that there's um, some people working in there. That there's a guy who wants to make a a mod of Sunshine that kind of makes it feel more open worldy, or maybe Mario sixty four e, where hmm. he wants to definitely make it so that getting shines don't take you out of the level. He wants to like have the loading zones for other levels be in other levels like in worlds like you enter 
you know, Rico from, yeah. I don't know about Beyonce, but, you know, you can enter Rico from, from Serena or something. Sounds See, you know? I, I don't think, yeah. I don't think getting kicked out of the level is all that people crack it up to be. Like, I, I don't think it's that much of an issue. I think the, well, what's up? Well, I mean, I don't, th- I don't think he's making it for like a speedrunning reason, but it's just for like a fun project. Yeah. You know? Just kind of. A... But, but I've also played Odyssey. Yeah. You know, and Odyssey, Odyssey has a lot of the, I talked about Breath of the Wild a little bit earlier in the episode. A lot of my gripes about Odyssey is that just like, oh my God, there's so many, there's 999 moons. Most of those moons are trash garbage. Who gives a shit about these moons? <laughs> but no, uh, but remember the iconic moon of sitting on a bench? <laughs> dude, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> People make fun of that one, and I and I also jump on that train, being like, "Oh, you sit on a bench beside a guy." That shine's actually kind of interesting. I or love that, that moon. shine. That, that moon's kind of interesting. <laughs> there are there are shit as just like ground pound this vent, ground pound this shiny thing, roll this rock ground over here, this bump. Yeah, just like there's there's so many shitty moons in that game that. Uh, it's just like, oh, you don't get kicked out every time you get a moon. It's like if I got kicked out every time I got one of these fucking moons, I would be pissed as shit. You know, but I would still be doing uh, my hundred percent playthrough to, to this day. <laughs> like, like you're saying, maybe it's like you'd rather like if the moons were cooler, and then they did kick you out, you'd rather take that. If like the moons were more, yeah, <laughs> if they had like a story involved with them. Mm-hmm. I think like, I agree with that. Like actually. an episode, like well, sunshine. See, see, the thing kick you out, it'd be okay. The thing about sh- sunshine is that every episode has its own like, uh. Flow. custom version of the map well well sure oh, yeah. it has its own custom but it also has like this is the starting point and then you have to climb up and go kill the blooper and there's a different way you have to climb yeah. up and uh yeah in noki bay or whatever and it's, it's all its own little not story but like sort of timeline where you enter the level and then figure out how to do whatever you're doing get kicked out enter the level do whatever you're gonna do get kicked out mario 64 is like kind of caters itself more to not getting kicked out, but people don't complain about it because it's like, it's kind of interesting to start in that. I, I don't know. There's some sort of different map changes in Mario 64, but well, it's, you know, in a TikTok clock and it changes when the, where the clock. Yeah. Is. That's cool. Yeah. That's really dope. But you can't like have that for every single level. I don't know. People complain yeah. about getting kicked out in sunshine too much, but I, 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 guess... I think it's mostly because it's just so for speed running. It's just so long. Cause it's 30 seconds in between each shine. So the hack's going to be more similar to, like, Banjo-Kazooie, then? Yeah, it's just like a... I don't know, this is, he's trying to do some pretty cool cool things, but... It's, it's an interesting like, thought. Yeah, yeah there, there's, like... there's a They're working on a... If you're in the Sunshine Discord and you look at the hacking channel, you know this, but they're also working on a, a, a Kaizo, like, collaborative project. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen um, some like screenshots. A giant, a giant clouds... Uh, Kaizo stage that a bunch of people are working on. Kaizo Sunshine uh, but, sounds fucking horrifying. I think it, it can be fun depending on what kind of level design it is. Because yeah, and, I, and I'm not sure if the people who are making it like are speedrunners and know how to do all the tech, and if they're going to include all of the crazy things you can do. <laughs> I don't know how much they know. Yeah, see, Kaplan. <laughs> so Kaplan made a Kaizo hack many years ago, and like as an avid runner, he knows exactly what to put in, but maybe. Since he's less adept in hacking, he can't like put in all he wants to necessarily. So, if we had like a like a high level player who's also like really good at hacking, that'd be ideal. But yeah, I'm <laughs> going soon. Calf had a frame perfect triple jump in that <laughs> in that level. It was a, it was a frame perfect spin jump, right? No, I think it was a triple jump. Was to like re- to get, like get enough distance. Yeah, to get to the to the nail. Like you had to land on a nail. What a dumb hack. <laughs> <laughs> and it, the, the, the first part was like a minute of Kenny Wall Kicks. Yeah. Which for those that don't oh know, Kenny God. Wall Kicks is literally built gaining heights up a flat wall <laughs> by using like crazy Y-turn tech. Yeah. yeah, they're actually, the guy who's in charge of, or leading the Kaizo, I'm pretty sure he's like saying, yeah, we're not doing Kenny Kicks. Like no Kenny Kicks. I'm glad. Yeah, I, that I makes sense. He doesn't call him Kenny Kicks. Well. But yeah. I, I think I'm yeah. like the f- I don't know. Pe- people have been doing kinetic kicks nowadays. Apparently, there's like race to the top of Pachinko now, mm-hmm. as like a meme. So it's like yeah, sub two from Roo reset file, Mario. from race file, you like get to the top of Pachinko as fast as possible, which which is only using kinetic kicks. But I used to be like fourth best at kinetic kicks. I don't know about it anymore. But 
I, I I'm I'm pretty good at them. And you got good at dumb. it because you were trying to like do the um you were trying to do for max pacifist. Kind of max percent pacifist. Yeah. Uh, getting like the lighthouse shine. <laughs> uh, the the lighthouse shine and the right bell, but we figured out that right bell is impossible through Kinegix. Oh or, right, uh, the right bell, yeah. Because the wall doesn't go up high. If the wall went up high enough, I I would be able to do it. But the wall doesn't go up high enough, so I just like clip over the wall. It's like great, awesome. Maybe it's a good thing because it would take literally forever to do that. <laughs> I. I, wh whenever somebody mentions SMS Kaizo, I always think there was, I, I don't know if it was a Zelpiku clip or something. I th it might have been a Zelpiku clip and somebody commented on it. It's like, oh, SMS Kaizo. It was Zelpiku Kirby spraying off a blooper from the girders in Rico and then falling and jumping off of it to hover into the, to the, under the grate of Rico 3. Oh, that's, that's sick. Oh, and I'm just so like. Sick. And he just said SMS Kaizo, and you saying SMS Kaizo just now is just like, I really hope that's not. That's it. actually like, like Mario World Kaizo type of stuff. It's like horror. <laughs> it's so hard. It's like one try. Oh my god, it's so bad. <clears throat> it's really funny. Yeah, but yeah, Sunshine Hacking. It's just uh, the tools available right now are really, really good. Um, at least comparatively, it's not nothing nearly as good as Mario sixty four. But do you but, think it'll ever get on 64's level or like come close to it? Uh, it's so just kind of hard because it, it's it's hard. Because um, if you want to make a good hack, you know, you'd actually be pretty. You probably have to be pretty good at like 3D modeling to make a cool level or something like that. Right. Or you can steal models from somewhere else or reuse Sunshine's models. Um, this is that's the kind of a thing that I always think about. Um, but you know you. You don't necessarily need to know how to 3D model if you're just going to make a custom secret. You know, you could just use the existing, you know, platforms that already exist within any mm -hmm. of the secrets. Yep. Um, but, I mean, Sunshine Hacking, you can do pretty much, you can do a lot of things. You know, custom models is already, you know, you can do that. Uh, custom music, you can do that. You could do custom levels. You can do custom scripting. Uh I kind of wanted to explain that to people just because I don't think a lot of people know about this. Um, but there's like little, there's like scripts that Sunshine uses for certain events. Uh, all the red coin, anything that involves like a timer or like a red coin timer mission, mm -hmm. um, those are all scripted events as well as like box game is a script. Uh, anytime you talk to dialogue or like you, you know, like you talk to an NPC, like that's a script. So you can do custom script. There's like a, it's like a language that someone made called Sunscript, which is pretty similar to JavaScript. And you can code your own stuff in this language that's very similar to JavaScript. And then you convert it to the type of file that Sunshine likes. So you can make, and that's, that's what SMS Arcade uses. Cause Damn. you know, like there's a bunch of crazy stuff about how it takes away your coins and then. Oh yeah. All those like crazy Sunshine Arcade missions, they all use that. And there's a lot of room for creativity. Um, and definitely Oggs, who made Sunshine Arcade, he's been the one who's taken advantage of it the most. Cool. So, so you'd say that you know, Oggs is the head hacker man's? Oh, he, that guy is a genius. I mean, all the stuff he's done and the custom maps, like the cool environments that he makes, they're all really good. That guy's, that guy's in the lead for sure. Yeah, I was really impressed by arcade 2 i played through the whole thing when that came out if you haven't played it if you're yeah. if you're listening to this and you want to play a really fun sunshine hack uh check out sms arcade 2 by augs that's a-u-g-s pretty sick it's yeah. 96 shines and a secret blue hey. coin on each level so it's pretty fun i i still have not played it <laughs> i have practice codes and stuff now you actually you I, have the means to play it now i could play it because yeah. you have nintendo and stuff <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely it's so cool. That guy, that guy's done a lot of great stuff. Um, he has he actually get, there's a file that contains all of his scripts that he used for his for Sunshine Arcade, so you can kind of see what he did. And he he has it uh, annotated, so you can kind of learn the basics of the coding system. Like I don't know how to code. Like I'm not a I'm not a coder or programmer or anything. Um, but I was able to. To, to do custom code and stuff just using the stuff that he's done as a guide so yeah, all the sunshine stuff I've done yeah that's with zero programming knowledge so you don't need to be a programmer to get involved at all you just need to have 
some creativity mostly. So and some patience. <laughs> so are there so yep, there are people a lot of patience. So there patience. are people currently working on Sunshine Hacks. Yeah, there's people currently working on them. Uh, almost every Sunshine project never ends up getting finished because <laughs> it's there's always hurdles that people come into and they can never solve them or people have creative slumps and stuff. That including me. Like I was working on one and I haven't I just kind of abandoned it, haven't worked on it in a while. It's you know uh, what? I've made a few Mario Maker levels. Kind of hard, kind of hard to like stay. Yeah, like in line. I, I I can understand that because I suck enough at figuring out how to make a Mario Maker stage where it's like the easiest possible tools to make a level, <laughs> and it's two mm-hmm. D. In three D, with yeah. like these crazy tools you got to use, I can't even imagine. Well, it's yeah, it's it's, it's hard because because like back to Mario Maker level for a sec. Uh, it's like sure making a level or whatever is is a thing you can make a level you can put however much time into making the level and stuff and then you just like think of it to yourself and a lot of people don't think this to themselves it's just like where's the fun it's like <laughs> where's the fun part just like sure i i made a level where you do a thing and then you ride on a thing and then you jump on a thing and jump to the end of the thing and then you're just like but what what part of this is fun and it's, yeah. it's hard unless it's my pac-man level where 100 percent of it's fun yeah, well, you it's Pac-Man you, themed. Yeah, you made Pac-Man and you went, where isn't the fun? And then you uploaded it. Yeah. It's too good. It's too much fun. People aren't ready for it. Yeah, <laughs> it's so it's it, it wasn't ready for people weren't ready to. If I would have released that like Pac-Man. today, it would have gone viral because like I think <laughs> now people would be ready for how, for that much fun. You don't know how many True. Pac-Man stages there are in Mario Maker. <laughs> I no, have played definitely. like. I, I have played a bunch of Mario Maker. I've played like probably seven. seven but mine was eight. definitely the first. So let's not get ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the best. Yeah, the you were the first. It was week sure. one. Come on. Phrase was the best for sure. <clears throat> but but yeah, like I've been, I don't know. There's like two Sunshine projects that I've been really wanting to make. Uh, I want to. I've been wanting to either a make a Sunshine hack, where the base game is basically, you know, normal Sunshine. Except there's tiny, maybe not tiny, but sometimes they're a little bit bigger, but modifications to all the levels that are in the any percent route with the intent of this, this is like a hack for Sunshine speedrunners to play that's like a more complicated, difficult version of Sunshine. Huh. Um, but not like Kaizo some, level. Some, Master Quest. Well, uh, yeah, the, so that's what, yeah, someone, Master Quest has been, someone else is already making a hack called Sunshine Master Quest, so I can't use that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's kind of what it, the the idea is. Um, with yeah, I mean, I think this at least the secrets would definitely have some kinds of stuff. You know, especially I really like using uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the funny spin jump, uh, the funny water spin move. The sprinkler spray. Uh, no, it's what's it called? Oh, the Beyblade on the ramp. Beyblade, yeah, yeah. Oh, Beyblade. like Beyblade, the levels with Beyblade and stuff like that. Um. <laughs> I've been really wanting to do something like that and also maybe include a few things that are like the only a speedrunner would be like, oh, I see what you did here. Like something that a casual Sunshine player would never like get that I changed, but something that a speedrunner would be like, ooh, this is different, you know, like mm-hmm. just like just like a hack that's kind of like a tribute to Sunshine speedrunning and stuff that speedrunners would find enjoyable or funny or d- more difficult. That sounds fun. And then I also want to do something... I also want to do something else that's more like creative and not necessarily just remakes of existing Sunshine levels. Yeah. So I feel like those should be two separate games, uh, or two separate projects. But it's just kind of hard to find the creativity. Like, you know, you have you know, a level like I'm trying to think of like a really basic level. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of basic levels in Sunshine. Like, how do you make this harder? Like, or like how do Bianca, you do something to this Bianca level? Free secret. Well, Bianco Three Secret, I I just kind of made a custom version of it, but like, B- Bianco is one of the ones I was working. I, I was, I, I had like a completed version of every stage in Bianco. Um, like the the hard part was like, how do I make getting to Bianco Three, like getting to the cave? How do I make this more interesting? You know? Mm-hmm. Okay. How do I uh, remove the pole? It's just, <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely did something that. Made it more interesting, but it was like, is this really going to be fun? Like, is it, are people going to like this? Is this going to make people laugh? Like, uh, yeah, I think I don't that know. I don't know. A, a trap you might it, fall into 
And I always fall into this trap when I'm working on a video. Like, it's happened to me right now making the Piana 6 history video. You see the same thing over and over again so much that like going into mm -hmm. it, you know it's good, but you become so numb to it that you don't know if it's good anymore. Yep. And you're yeah. like, crap, is anyone gonna like this? Like, I'm so sick of this. Yeah. But you just yeah. gotta keep it in the back of your head. Like, imagine like seeing it for the first it time. They're probably gonna think yeah. it's cool, so. Yeah, that's definitely true. That, yeah. You just gotta get over that hump like I, I do all the time. Yeah, I was actually tweeting a lot of the sunshine videos I was tweeting out were just pro were just like levels that I, that were in my hack that I was like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna do this anymore, so I'm gonna scrap it, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload a video of it so people can see what I was working on. So that's what that's why a lot of those Twitter videos exist. I love the fast wiggler. <laughs> yeah, you should you should I don't know I I don't know if I want to promote if it's a uh... I can link some stuff in the description. Yeah, if you just go to my Twitter, you can look at my media and look at yep. some of the videos I was posting. Yeah, the Fast funny. Wiggler, what, wasn't it just like impossible to get a ground pound on it or something? Almost. Like you, it, yeah, he, 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 I, I changed some of his values so that I purpose, I made him fast. That's one thing I did. <laughs> yeah, and fast. then I made I made him instantly like come out of vulnerability. And then I also changed a value purposefully to make him freeze on his like yeah. blowing smoke out of his nose. I thought that was like a side <laughs> for, effect for of it. I was like, why is he frozen? What the hell? No, that was actually that was on purpose. That was like a value that I specifically was like, I wonder if this changes this and it did. That was so, so. funny. Yeah. That, so that, that would, would definitely never, be, that would never in, be a, in an SMS Kaizo hack, that Wiggler. That was actually made just for a funny Twitter video, I'll be honest. Oh, that, that was, was dope. never attended to. I wanted to see Mountain Wiggler. Oh no! Glitching like, yeah, all over the place yeah. that fast. Yeah, it's just like running because because the <clears throat> the whole thing about Wiggler. If you get Mountain Wiggler, Wiggler is such a weird level. I don't want to talk about Wiggler for seven minutes, but uh, Wiggler is such a weird level that if you ground pound him and then he just like doesn't like the cut of your jib, he'll just go the wrong way. Uh, but usually you can manipulate him the right way. Sometimes he just goes up the mountain and wastes forty seconds, and you're just like, oh, okay, well, all right, awesome. Or he'll well, like run yeah. over the hut and like glitch all over the place. Yeah, running over the hut is the probably the funniest movement that I've <laughs> seen in like in an attempt to try to get better cycles. It's like he just goes over the hut and just like, what the hell was that? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> like he just, his his like oh. body parts are separating from his body. It's so weird. Yeah, because because it just acknowledges the ground is the ground and the hut as also the ground. So then <clears throat> it, there's no like diff one one of his links doesn't linger in the air. It just kind of falls to the ground and then is on top of the roof at the same time. So you're just ugh, it's all horrible. yeah. The, the the hut. I'm pretty sure the hut is not like a separate object in the game. The hut is attached to the map yep. itself. Mm -hmm. So the game doesn't really know that the hut is a hut. It just thinks it's part of the terrain. Unlike uh, the merry-go-round in Pinna. Dude, I'm on the same yeah. wavelength as you. I was just going to say that. Which is an object. Tra Trey and I have been doing podcasts for too long. We just know the where to go. Brain length. So, Re or, uh, Reed. Rat. Rat was uh, one of the people to understand why EYG ended up being a thing. Like, why, why it ended up working. Uh, he says that the hut is with the ground at the in Gelato. Like, it's not a different object. But the thing about merry-go-round... And in, in, do yeah. you want to do you want to talk about your merry-go-round and your influence in I UIG mean, or anything like that? I didn't I didn't influence it at all. <laughs> I was a part of the good people when it was found. Yeah, but um, I did realize. Yeah, I just you know was thinking about it and I realized that yeah, like you know that that uh, merry-go-round is just is an object because it, it moves and they didn't want to you know anything that moves in sunshine is is usually its own object and not part of the map like when you're in serena and you can see the huge uh the carousel like the carousel is an object that you can move around um it's not part of the map so anything that moves like that is, is the bianca object. windmill an object yeah the spinning windmill is an object oh, that's you can, a huge you object can move the spinning yeah you can move the spinning part of it around can you make just like a really um, really small windmill dude I've actually tried, and whenever you make it small and then you launch the game, it reverts back to its original size. Oh, it's really hell? weird. I don't know why it does that. Um, oh. it's, just, it's probably hard-coded to be that size, I guess. <clears throat> but, um, but yeah, the, the merry-go-round is, like, custom-coded 
you know, to have the loading zone like attached to it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it checks for your Yoshi's color and stuff. It's just hard coded into the object. And so they didn't make a separate version of it without that hard coded into it. It's, It's the same object with the same code. No matter where it is, no matter what, which level you're in, see, so I, that's kind of that's kind of how it works. I remember it's, it's, you it's just part at, of the object. After we found that EYG was like possible, I don't even think EYG was a thing yet. Uh, like after I went, hey Clint or Clinton, Clint, hey Clint uh, Stevens, check Clay, this out. And Clint Stevens, go okay, <laughs> Cl- Clayton, go check the loading zone, and he checked the loading zone and it was there. I was just kind of like, okay. I remember Rap made a video soon after about the fact that the merry-go-round was its own object. And the only reason that it's its own object, because if you look, if you try to look for the spinning cups, it's not the cups, it's the clams. If you look for the spinning clams from outside the park, they're not there. But the only reason yep. that the merry-go-round is there is because it's visible. Like if you yep. go, if like you can like the cut scene or something, yeah, yeah you can kind of see. You can it. just like, like look, look through, through the entryway. You can look yeah. through, yeah, 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 yeah. So they they included it to make the continuity but the, look right, I guess. But the spinning <laughs> clams aren't there. So like they didn't put that that object there because it's not visible from like outside the loading zone but it's it is yeah. visible if you like awesome. try to if you really try really hard you can go look to see that there's just a big empty hole where the clam spinner is supposed to be but then the merry-go-round's there because it's actually visible from the front door uh so it's just eyg in so many ways just works because yeah. i don't know laziness the the, the world wanted it to a it's a like, miracle you- that it works like there's if like one of 12 yeah. different things getting to it is yeah that's a miracle is the fact that yeah. you're able to get to it well, is insane and, and even and even the fact that it's just like well they didn't want to make a separate merry-go-round and it's visible from the front so they just put the same merry-go-round that has a loading zone and just the the fact that it all works together and i i remember rat just soon after we found eyg was like theoretical po- theoretically possible he was just like oh yeah this is why it, it's a thing like i didn't know this beforehand but now now that we know that this loading zone's here here's this video explaining just like this object is its own object and not flush with the ground because it also spins but also it's visible from the front because there's no actual object in the park other than like i guess the ferris wheel and the uh and the merry-go-round like from outside from outside mm-hmm. if you look at it the only two objects. I don't even know if the Ferris wheel itself is an object, but I. Although, I, isn't the, is this is the Ferris wheel from, the beach section that you're looking at like a lower poly version of it? Yeah. Okay. It's a lower poly version. I thought. Uh yeah, but yeah, that video you're talking about, that video does not exist anymore. Okay. I don't know if this is a segue we want to get into, but yeah, I haven't seen that video. I don't know what you're talking about. That video got deleted by our good friend Magic Scrumpy. Oh, so it doesn't oh, exist perfect anymore. segue. I think that this is like like the uh, last thing we wrap up on. Yep. Scrumpy. Uh, well, Scrumpy. Well, what do we know about say? him? I don't know. You 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 had friends in the past. You had friends in the past. Yeah, and uh, well, yeah, we just. We were good friends at one time. Um, most this is all before us Discord. This is in the Skype days. We had, some, we had a Skype group. We, we, you had a uh, YouTube channel together, right? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that video. Like I, I thought I uploaded uploaded that video onto. It was on, you know, my it was on at the time. Can I sit with you? So, I'm pretty sure that's where I put that video on for some reason. I uploaded it there. I suppose on my personal channel. But yeah, we, yeah, we we're friends, and then some some beef happened. I don't even want to get. Into, I, I don't necessarily want to get, get into it. it. Yeah, uh, it's just, it's, yeah, you don't have to. You don't want it's to. It's a long time yeah. ago. It, this is a long. It's ago. fine. But but uh, but yeah, we had we had a channel with Alpha Rad, um, famous YouTuber. Yeah, I, I'm still friends with him. I still talk. And to also, him. some other guy. Who was it? There was some. Other, there was a few other guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but Pikachu likes Kai for like that one month. Yeah, he, yeah. He he never was even. He never even had access to the channel. He just made some videos and was like, "Hey, can you upload? You know, you want to upload these to your channel?" I was like, "Okay." <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, but I don't know. The, but the, yeah, so I I feel like we'll have somebody on to like talk about the the magic scrumpy stuff in regards to the SMS community. When we get, that, yeah. yo, how about, I mean, I'll be honest. I'm probably one of the better people to talk to about it, but I know this is already going a little long. But I, I think I know almost everything. I, I made it I, at one point. I had an image of of a big image with screenshots 
from all of the Scrumpy Sunshine videos that included the date they were uploaded. Yeah. And then, like, underneath them, other people's videos with their dates that always predated Scrumpy's videos yeah. that were the same concept. They were the same Can idea. we explain so what like, videos we're yeah, talking about? Do you, do you want to talk about it or do you want well, me to? Well, I think... Who wants to talk about it? Who, who wants I mean, to preface this? The, the general gist of what we're talking about is Scrumpy would make videos about Sunshine tricks that he found, quote-unquote, that were actually stuff that's already been previously known a couple years in the past. Yep. And he would justify it with, he found it on his own accord, so technically he can say that he found it. Yep. And and this, this, most this iconic is caused some stir up. So one, one more thing. It, it caused some like minor stir up in the Sunshine community, but like, like no one hated Scrumpy, but we just no. were a little bit... There was some ill will because we felt like he should have been crediting people when he wasn't. So, go ahead. It, it, it's... Uh... It, the best thing that's come out of the Red Fuzzy Dice videos, which was Scrumpy's alternate account, because Scrumpy's the uh, the melee guy, and made like random hacks with melee, and then went over to Sunshine with Red Fuzzy Dice and some Magic Scrumpy stuff. Uh, the 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 funniest things that came out of those videos were the parody videos that came out from like Syrup. Syrup made a, a video that's of the, it. Syrup's video. Sorry, Mystery Swastika is second best. Surf's video is the best parody. Oh my god. It, it's just so, so fucking funny. Because there was a video by Magic Shrumpy where he talked about the go-go banana. And he went mm -hmm. up to go grab the banana. And there's a bunch of memes from the script of that video in the Sunshine mm -hmm. community being like, what, 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 what's up? You guys referenced one earlier. I can't remember offhand. What, what was uh, I say? The, the rocket. But actually, I lied about something. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's just like, he's like, oh, you can get up there without hacking. It's like, oh, wait, no, you actually can't. You have to hack in a rocket in order to go up there. So he's just like, oh, wait, <laughs> I lied about if, something. You actually can't. It's, it's <laughs> as if he was writing that script as he was finding stuff. It's just like, so you have to get it with cheats. But wait a minute, I lied about something. You don't have to use cheats. So we're going to do it this, <laughs> this way. Is a way. This is the way he talks in those videos, too. <laughs> it's it's, it's pretty actually, funny. I lied about something. <laughs> because, so, so like a month beforehand or something, Go Go Dude, who's a... a, a a, a, it wasn't a month. It was like a few days, I think. I, I okay, sure. Uh, who's a who's a uh, Super Mario Sunshine runner from Canada? Shout outs to Canada. Shout outs. Uh, he he found the Go Go banana. He just was like screwing around in codes and stuff and flying around and was just like, hey, there's a random banana above the beach in Pinna, way above the the beach. Like way in above the beach. It's like there. several. Way, way above. <laughs> Isn't way, it like way above. three rocket storages worth above. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know for sure. But it, yeah, it's, it's just up high. there. And he found it, and he was just like, hey, here, here's a banana I found. All right. Cool. And then three days later, <laughs> Scrumpy <laughs> like just made this video being like, hey, I found a banana. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. pretty much exactly what happened. And everybody's just Dude. like kind of looking. Because if you're in that Sunshine community, you know a few days ago you saw a tweet or like a small video by GoGo -Go Dude that just like, oh, I found a banana. We call it the GoGo -Go Banana. It's still his, I, I think it's still his profile picture on Discord yeah. to this day. It's still and, a banana, yeah. <laughs> and it just three days later, just this guy who, it, it's not like Scrumpy wasn't part of the community and he, he, he was, he watched streams. He's I probably still a mod in Shadow Mario's chat. Like, yeah, for he, some reason. He, he he's around and he would watch people's streams and and be part of the community in in ways just kind of participation wise and then randomly put out this video being like hey i found a banana and it's just oh okay <laughs> and then he made this whole in-depth video like scrumpy would and a a few weeks later syrup <laughs> made uh, shout outs to canada again syrup another sms speedrunner who's really fucking good at 20 shines and stuff. He made a parody video, which is probably the best parody video in Sunshine, probably, of that Definitely. video. Give, giving credit 100%. to GoGo -Go Dude and just shitting on the entire... I, I don't even know if it was a scrumpy video. or It's called, video, but like, the GoGo yeah. -Go Banana in 0 0.5 times A presses or something. Yeah, it's just that's, that's the video title. Yeah. We'll, we'll link it below. We'll, we'll definitely link it. Yeah, just watch it. that video. Link it. Actually, okay, watch... Is Scrubby's video still on YouTube, by the way? I don't know. I don't know. Well, like, see if it is. But he still has way, all his red fuzzy dice stuff. Either way, the, the syrup... The, yes, it is. I think the syrup video is still pretty funny, even if you don't get what it's parodying. So. It's, it's, it's hilarious. And then... But, like, it, 
going on to the scrumpy thing. It's just it's just a weird amount of he he found the impossible rocket in or yeah he, the he, rocket nozzle in the right in bell. Plaza. So there's just yeah. there's a rocket nozzle in the right bell. There there is just a rocket nozzle box in there. So after you unlock the rocket in Delfino, it's just unlocked and it's in in the bell. It's not gettable uh, through uh, normal means or anything like that, but. Zelpika Kirby, a few years or a couple years mm-hmm. before this video ever yeah. came out, he found a way to go get it with Yoshi or with other rocket or like rocket storages. I don't remember how exactly to do it because it's just kind yeah, of a, use Yoshi. Yeah, it's it's kind of a niche video, and he posted it years beforehand, and then Scrumpy was just like, he he posted a video being like, I took it as a challenge because <laughs> <'cause there's, laughs> yeah, dude, I was gonna I was gonna say like when like literally minutes ago when we started talking about this like. That that one with with uh, Zopiku and the rocket nozzle, that's what comes to mind. Is that is like the most infuriating one to me. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's like I realized there's a rocket in here. I took it as a challenge to figure it out. Like no one's well, done it before, and, even though Zopiku did. And if you look at both of those videos, you do, do some research if you're listening. Look at the names of both of the two videos. They're like so similar. It's like there's no way. Like they're both called almost the exact same thing on YouTube. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, because Zelpiku oh, also man. loaded it onto or uploaded onto YouTube. But because yeah. during the the Scrumpy video, he actually goes to like a, a a wiki of some sort and reads about it, reads about the impossible rocket in quotes, and it's just like, and I read the words the impossible rocket, and I took it as a challenge, and <laughs> and he, he found it or he got it the exact same way Zelpiku did, or like very yeah. similarly. Or, yeah, it's, it's the exact same. On his own and, accord, and, though, with no help, he didn't watch the okay, video at all. Just, just listen to this. This the self the self Pico Kirby video from like four or five years ago is called Super Mario Sunshine getting the impossible rocket nozzle. That's what Zell Pico originally called it two years ago. Magic Trumpy video Super Mario Sunshine collecting the impossible rocket <laughs> nozzle. Ooh, collecting Super Mario Sunshine collecting the impossible rocket nozzle. Zell Pico's Super Mario Sunshine getting the impossible rocket nozzle. There's no way you can't tell me that that oh, was an accident. Oh, 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 I just remembered. I just remembered what people started calling Red Fuzzy Dice. The panic of Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, Dude, God. yeah. People yeah. so people outside of the Sunshine community, this was also infuriating. Who like just normies coming across the video through recommendations or whatever on YouTube would find it and assume he's literally the the panic of Sunshine, finding all this amazing stuff that no one's found before, clearly. And- and Panicoic, for anybody who doesn't know, again, is the 0.5 times A presses guy. Who It all comes like, full circle. That's why the name of Serbs video is that. Yeah, he, he was the guy that made the watch for falling rocks in 0.5 rolling A presses. Rocks. Sorry, which one? It's watch for rolling rocks, like the beer. Watch for rolling? Sorry, I don't. I, I, no, I, I, I've only seen the video once, like two years ago. <clears throat> It's a good video, though. I love Panic Coex. It's, it's a great video. Uh, anyway. But I, I, I just people in the comments being like, he's the Panic Coex. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, it, all of it just Dude. felt gross. <laughs> the Sunshine Hacking Discord loves shitting on that. Like, loves making fun of people for calling Magic Scrumpy the Panic It's just Coex. a funny footnote in Sunshine content history. There, there are a lot of people that have touched Sunshine. Not necessarily in the best ways. You know, but everybody just kind of has a good uh, mentality about it or a good uh, humor about it where like mm-hmm. maybe Scrumpy isn't as fondly looked at because before Scrumpy made all those videos, I, was just, I thought he was like a fine guy. Uh, no, yeah, I was friends with him, man. I yeah, I enjoyed his melee content, like making random hacks to different characters and stuff. Uh, but then all the, the stuff that came out, like him posting the videos uh, about sunshine stuff, and then he it came out that his what six hundred sec. I I don't know anything about the young link astron. Yeah, but thing. let's not get into that. It, yeah, <laughs> I, I have actually nothing to input on that, but I I know that's a thing, and it, it's just it's all it's, it's all just, in the past. The Mario Mario Brothers speedrun as well. He's done a I, lot of shady stuff. Let's just also it in sunshine. Like he the videos he made of sunshine hacking that were other people's projects. Like, he wasn't ever supposed oh. to upload and didn't get permission to upload those. Like, Check out this Super Luigi Sunshine hack. Yep. Yeah, like, he, he didn't get permission to that. It was basically, like, a leak, and, um, as far as I'm aware. And then afterwards, I remember he uploaded, like, either the multiplayer one or the Luigi one. And then a few days after it had been uploaded, he was just like, oh, and then he put, like, an edit in the description, like, shouting out somebody who had made it. I, I, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
but yeah, it's just it, it's just a lot of weird shit <laughs> that came out. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and now Scrappy is <laughs> more or less kind of disappeared off the internet. Yeah. I don't know. Anymore. I don't really hear from him anymore. I don't know what he's up to. Uh, but anyway, that covers Scrappy. <laughs> And, and the only reason yeah, we... I guess it's just relevant because I was friends with him more than probably anyone else will ever be a yep. on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. I haven't I haven't thought about the scrumpy stuff in a while. That was that was a fl- that was a flash from the past, dude. Yeah. That was a while ago. Yeah. Well, we had Rad on the podcast. I don't know. That was yeah. that was fun. We we, we didn't really get into. Was... Usually, we ask people what their gaming resume is, but. uh I'd, I kind of went through it. Yeah, we we, we went through. Your All right, past. quickly. Cool. What are your top five gaming achievements? Go. Yeah. Oh my! I don't. I don't I actually don't. I don't think I have. Any. I mean, <laughs> hey, there you go. There's your resume. Uh, See, this is what I was, I was expecting. All the, the ones I, all the ones I, like you know, uh, I invented Club Penguin Speedrun. There you go. And then you got Rap Bounce. Of fruit. That's two. Rap Bounce. Uh, Rap Bounce three. I. I don't count Fetch a Fruit. One. That's so <laughs> Fetch a Fruit. Uh, okay, two and a half. Um. <laughs> Um, I uh, I made Sunshine Community have better layouts. Yes, layouts. And, three and, and a half. Stingers <laughs> and and layouts. <laughs> I don't even know how to take the layouts meme. Uh, it's like uh, <laughs> the layouts meme is like I made it, but out of like a pure sincere moment. I don't even know. Uh, layouts. Uh, 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 uh Mario. Uh. uh uh, uh, Rats touched uh, has, hosting this podcast. There Rats, you go. Thanks for hosting this Rats, podcast, Rat. Rats has touched our hearts in many ways, and uh, he's helped out a lot of people. And he's a, a, a very good guy to have around in the community. And uh, hey, making those gifts a long time ago. Oh <laughs> yeah, those... shout out to that uh, that fish gift I always put on my stream. Yep. Which but yeah, became was, the emo average glob. That was episode seventeen. We had Rat on the podcast. And we, we talked about things. And I'm, I'm glad that he showed up. And I'm glad it went as well as it did. And I'm glad that he is around today. Any last shout outs you want to give before I wrap it up? Me? Yes, you, the guest. No, me. Shout outs to twitter.com slash rat7. Everyone follow rat7 on Twitter. It, uh, it's definitely worth it. Shout out to the Sun, Sunshine Hacking Discord. Uh, I don't know. If you can either find a link. You can link it. Oh, yeah, the, the Sunshine Hut. Or, or I'm pretty sure, yeah. Sunshine, if you're in the Sunshine Hack or Sunshine Speedrunning Discord, I think they got a link in there too. So Yeah, you'll find it there somewhere. Just, honestly, uh, even if you're not, you don't even have to say anything in there. It's just kind of fun to look at what people are posting. It's, re- it's really cool. That's what I do. I just like to check it every now and then. Discord. It's definitely worth just to be an observer from the stars. So, for average Trey and fellow Canadian band Bare Naked Ladies fan Rat Seven Eli, uh, that'll okay, be the excited. end of the podcast. That'll be the end of the podcast. You guys have, or we, we're on Google Play and Spotify. Trey there always wants me to say that stuff, but uh, you guys have yeah. a have a good one. Thanks to Rat, we're on Spotify and, and Google Play. <laughs> Thanks to Rat. Thanks to Rat. He's a good guy. Thanks to Rat. Thanks to Rat. Have a good one, y'all.